Hi, everyone. Tony from Hack the Movies here with Prison Mike and so. Jess from The Creep Off and Hack the Movies. Home Alone. What a classic holiday film. Are we talking about that today? No, Jess, we're not talking about the first Home Alone movie. We're talking about all the Home Alone movies. No! Happy holidays, Prison Mike. Merry Christmas, Tony. No, we say happy holidays in this store. Merry Christmas. <laughs> happy Hanukkah. <laughs> I think that might be done by the time this comes out. Oh, well, hope everyone had a happy Hanukkah. I hope everyone I had a I celebrate great... Christmas, but a happy holidays, happy Hanukkah. Hello, uh, Jess. How are you? Great. This is a long time coming, the Home Alone episode. Now, I just want to say I love the patrons. I love the patrons on Patreon. Never again, you assholes. I love you too, Tony. Huh? I love you too, Tony. That's you are a patron, Prison Mike. Yes, uh, but never again, Patron Mike. We did a poll, and I asked the loyal customers, <laughs> "Should we review the first Home Alone movie or all the Home Alone movies?" And they picked all. And by the time I voted the first, I know. <laughs> Actually, so we have like five hundred people usually. I think it's definitely rigged. Yeah, only like 100 people donate, uh, 100 people voted. So, you know, if you don't like this episode and you're a patron, you should have voted, all right? Your vote matters, right? Yes. Okay. We have an election year coming yes. up, so yeah, remember that. Remember, Not rigged at all. But don't vote like you just did. <laughs> yeah, that was... <laughs> I uh. I kind of regret it, even making that an option. This was, this was rough. So the last two, like, best, worst videos we did... They were pretty easy. Cheapers Creepers, it was pretty easy which one was the worst there. I haven't seen either of them, or all of them. How many are there? There's four. Oh, that's much yeah. easier. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, but no, this one, this one was a little painful. This was A painful. little? Yes. Like uh, a lot of... I didn't expect it to be as rough as it was. I've been through tough times, Tony, and this was rough. Was this worse than prison, prison, Mike? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? We're going to go through all these films, not super in detail, but we're going to talk about what we like and what we didn't like from them. Uh, and then we'll figure out which one is the worst. Uh, let's start with the original. I'm going to read the back of the box here. Please do. Here is uh, my good friend, Macaulay Culkin, who I've hung out with. He Love got Macaulay the Culkin. star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He did get the star, but they're Yay. probably going to revoke it because he's doing a white power symbol okay, here. Okay, you know. <laughs> the ADL <laughs> has labeled this a white power symbol. Is that so. on the back of the DVD? I don't know if it's on the back of the DVD. Because no one buys VHSs anymore. No offense. Maybe that. I will send this to the ADL. Okay, okay. <laughs> I mean, I love my good friend Mac. I would never try to cancel him. I mean, we only spent a weekend together. I don't think he remembers me. I just remember the but... clip on Twitter you posted where he's like, he's just like, <laughs> you talk to him, he's like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forget what it was. Uh, wow, what a, you guys must be jealous that I got to act with Macaulay Culkin honestly, and you guys didn't. Like, yeah. I am. I am, honestly. Instead, I'm here with Hack the Movies. That's almost better if you think about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, all right, let well, me read the one of the back people of the box. Hack the movies made me watch all six Home Alone movies. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Actually, no, it's not your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. It's his fault. He's a patron. I voted. He voted for the right your fault. I voted Don't the right blame way. me. I voted. Yeah. I wasn't Home pointing at you. I was pointing at them. <laughs> okay. I'm going to read the back of the box here. When Kevin's family left for vacation, they forgot one minor detail. Kevin! Kevin! Eight-year-old Kevin McAllister, Macaulay Culkin, has become the man of the house overnight, accidentally left behind when his family rushes off on a Christmas vacation, not to be confused with Christmas vacation, which Did we've already reviewed. have that there ready for that? <laughs> Christopher Columbus almost directed this, but then he got kicked off the movie because he clashed with Chevy Chase. Oh. Yeah. And then he did this as a follow-up. <laughs> Kevin gets busy decorating the house for the holidays, but he's not decking the halls with Tinsel and Holly. Two bumbling burglars are trying to break in, and Kevin's rigging the bewildered battery of booby traps to welcome them. A lot of these old VHS covers, they loved, uh, what is that? Um, alliteration. Yeah, alliteration. Or, they loved it. Yeah. The all-star supporting cast includes Catherine O'Hara. Kevin! And John Hurd as Kevin's parents, Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern as the burglars, and oh, John Candy as the polka king of the Midwest. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, when you said uh, Joe Pesci and... Oh, who's the other guy? Uh, Daniel Stern. Yeah. Don't you mean Joe and Sean of Movie Dumpster? Yeah, our friends Movie Dumpster played the Wet Bandits last year, and they did a good job. 
Uh, Sean is great, but every time I see Marv in this movie, I'm like, I just think of Sean. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the hair is like identical. <laughs> Written and produced by John Hughes, Uncle Buck, this mad slapstick adventure is one of the top three box office hits of all time. Yeah, this movie made a shit ton of money when it came out. I can't imagine. Uh, look, like I said, look at that face. Written by the famous John Hughes, who wrote many, many good films and also some duds. This is like a Christmas classic. I think this has been in all of our childhoods, right? Yeah, Absolutely, yep. When yep. did you first see Home Alone? When it came out. In the theater? Yeah. And did you love it right away? Yes. It was one of my favorite movies. Yes. Yeah. It's a good one. It's a good one. It still holds up. Uh, I don't remember the first time I see it. This is one that's just on TV all the time every Christmas. Yes. I definitely remember watching it in my aunt's car because mm. they had the DVD player in the car. But like, I never really remember the, the, the beginning part. When I watched it recently, it was like, oh, yeah. But the ending was what all we always skipped to because it was just me, my brother, and my two cousins. And I'm just sitting in the back of the car cracking up at these guys falling down the stairs and getting hit with paint buckets. <laughs> yeah. Um, you do have a really good cast here. Uh, and like I said, Christopher Columbus, who uh, actually directed Went this is... across the ocean. No, and... not that Christopher Columbus. <laughs> call back to the Five Nights at Freddy's episode. Not the... <laughs> Not the Italian. Kill much people. Not the Italian man. We're not allowed to celebrate anymore. I don't want to celebrate him. Anyway, no, the other Chris Columbus. A uh, good he, one, I guess. <laughs> Is that okay? So I don't Shut up. He directed Gremlins. Uh, he ended up directing Harry Potter, and he directed Mrs. Doubtfire, which actually we reviewed this year. The show is a musical for Mrs. Doubtfire now. Yes. Yeah. Cool. That's all I had to say. Thank you for letting us it. know about that, Jess. It was very important. Look, the guy who played Mrs. Doubtfire was part of the I'm pretty sure I mentioned that juice. in the Mrs. Doubtfire episode, but I'm glad we're repeating it here. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, everything was fi firing on all cylinders with this. The cast is good. The story is pretty good. Kevin is just a great character. Yeah, this is like the beginning of like Macaulay mania. Is that what they called it? Because yeah. what did he do? Huh? Yeah, I think that's what the. Yeah. Because he did Uncle Buck before this, which I haven't seen Uncle Buck in like a minute. Have you guys watched that no. recently? What is it? Huh? What's Uncle Buck? It's uh, another John Hughes film, but like uh, John Candy's in it. But, oh, like, I've Macaul never seen the cover for it. Yeah. Yeah, Macaulay Culkin's in that. He's also in um. He's in right, the... right before this, when I was hanging out with, with Macaulay Culkin, Mac, we all called him Mac. He actually was in the horror film Jacob's Ladder, like right before this. He's uncredited in that film. You ever see Jacob's Ladder? No. That's so, who well, liked Macaulay Culkin more, John Hughes or Michael Jackson? <laughs> well, he was friends with Michael Jackson. Uh -oh. I don't know yeah, how friendly I, he was. With I'm just oh, saying, who no. liked him? Like John oh, yeah, Hughes was, had him in a couple of movies. He was in that Michael music Jack video, Michael Black and Jackson White. had him a couple of slumber parties. <laughs> God damn it, was it Mike? <laughs> anyway, he was also. So I watched uh, this one YouTuber review like that really bad Nutcracker: The Untold Story, but like he watched the original like the Nutcracker stage play and Macaulay's in it playing the Nutcracker. You know what's funny? I thought I I didn't think it was possible to find more VHS tapes in this place, and I found a box of VHS tapes that had been missing, and I just found that Nutcracker tape. Which one? Like the, yesterday, the, the one with play? Macaulay Culkin. One yeah. <laughs> And I just like found a, that he yesterday. Has like old man hair and a beard. Did, I watched. Did you ever watch that? It was so no. bad. Oh, no, I just remember. I just remember when he died in uh, My Girl. It's the oh, only God. other Macaulay Cogan movie I remember. Thomas Shea, he can't see without his glasses. No, no that's, that that's a rough one. I've never seen that poster. You never seen My Girl? No, I've just never seen the poster for The Good Son. Just oh like, God, oh yeah. Good Son's fun. No, I remember so, my mom wouldn't let me watch that movie for whatever reason. <sighs> yeah, I can see her not liking that one. Yeah. She also wouldn't like Jacob's Ladder, which again he was in. He was uncredited. And I remember telling him about that movie. No one likes And that. I was like, hey, the first night I got high, and I, it was a really bad experience for Tony because I, I got way too high. Yeah, I got, I, got high. I got way too high. Uh, but I went home and I turned Jacob's Ladder on, which is a movie I'd already seen, but I should not have watched it when I was high because it scared the hell out of me. Is, is there a ladder in the movie? No, ladder refers to something else. But anyway, I told him that story, and he was like, how do you think I felt? I had to see that movie in theaters when I was like eight. That terrified me. But apparently he did, like, the uncredited scenes of Jacob's Ladder, and then, like, the week after, he was on the set of Home Alone. And I'm like, those are two very different movies. Yeah. That would mess with my head. Um, but, yeah, it's a great film. Uh, it's a little ridiculous, the plot. Yeah. <sighs> Them, like, leaving the kid behind. They are awful to him. Their family kind of sucks. Yeah, like, yeah, like the... awful. 
yeah. the, his uncle's like, look what you did, you little jerk. <laughs> yeah, they're calling him a jerk. But, like, but, but also, the mother doesn't defend him. She's like, well, you just go up into the scary up, up upstairs. And... Yeah, they've always thrown him in that attic. And they just like they just let Buzz get away with everything. Yeah, Buzz. They, ne- they never really punished Buzz. And Buzz is like, oh, it's okay, it's just Buzz. I mean, to yeah, be- they but do. It's Mac- but and Buzz is, Buzz is the older sibling. They don't get away with shit. Yeah. Oh, no. I know older from sibling, experience, Prison Mike. Older siblings <laughs> never get away with anything. No. I know, I'm the oldest sibling out of two. I'm also the oldest sibling. Uh, my sister, Prison Mike, I hope you never get to run into my sister. Yeah, me too. Uh, <laughs> she would get away with murder. I couldn't get away with anything. <laughs> so, yeah, the Buzz thing is a little not, It's that's not accurate. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. I mean, Kevin would be getting away with everything. I mean, we'll get to the second one, but in the second one, he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, <laughs> if I were to do that, my my parents would be like, stop feeling sorry for yourself and go yeah. to the room. I'm like, um, so, yeah, he like, he hates his family around Christmas. I, I don't blame him. That house sucked. I mean, no, it was a really nice, beautiful house. But, like, that family was, they should not be all vacationing together. Yeah, it was pure chaos. It was insane. And everybody's so mean. Like, literally, I already said that. But, like, when he's, like, they're, like, you need to uh, pack your suitcase. And he's going to his siblings for help. And they're, like, Kevin, you suck. You're an idiot. We don't (laughs) like you. Fucking die. They don't really say that. But it's basically that. And they're, like, maybe you would just be better if you were You're right. I think that I think the kid from Pete and Pete should have been a lot nicer. Yeah. Which one was that? There were a uh, lot he was of the kids. redhead the kid. The redhead kid with like the... Oh, the one that looked like I thought was Ron Weasley. <laughs> <laughs> no, he ended up being in uh, the show Pete and Pete. I like the his uh his cousin that they're like if he drinks too much he'll wet the bed. He's like, <laughs> Do you know who played that? You know who played Fuller? Uh, no. That's Kieran Culkin. Who Is was it? in Scott Pilgrim yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that's Kieran Culkin. Really? <laughs> yeah. If you watch it again, if you look at his face, you're like, oh, that's 100%. Well, the glasses are ginormous. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah he wets the bed. That poor kid. The they make a joke about it at the second one. They're like, come on, we just put the rubber sheets on there. Well, and also when they show, like, the next day when they all come to the hotel and he's in the bed by himself. <laughs> <laughs> and with the soda cans around, he's like. Oh. Now, Prison Mike, you've committed some crimes in the past. Uh, how easy is it to get a policeman's uniform? I I can't imagine it being very easy. Like, he was, like, an, a legit uniform. He had the badge, everything, the hat. Yeah. He had, the, like, the, the same leather jacket and everything. Yeah. So, yeah, Joe Pesci, uh, who is Harry. Yeah. I always get those two confused. Um, Me too. Uh, he's uh, undercover as a cop, and he's, like, scoping out the place. He hey, you want to go back to being, like, how, like, bad the family is. Like, there's a cop in their house, and they just don't even acknowledge him. Just walk right by him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the uncle's like, well, what is it? The, when the pizza guy comes in, the uncle takes it, and he's like, that'll be this much. And he's like, my brother's loaded. He'll give you the money. And yeah. then, like, walks away. Yeah. I, I hate the uncle so and, much. And the dad is also oblivious, because he talks to the, the cop and gives him all the information. And then he's, like, talking to the pizza guy, and then he leaves. And I was just like, is he going to pay the pizza? And the pizza guy's there for, like, a while. Yeah. They end up sitting and having dinner. And I'm like, And they're no both standing there. <laughs> yeah, they're both still standing there. And then the mom, his mom comes in. And with like taking him to his room, and she's like, "Oh, here's the money. We just finished the pizza. Here's the money. I'm gonna take this little fucker up to his room." Like that guy's Again, gonna get in trouble if he doesn't get back in time. <laughs> <laughs> the one gag I like in this movie is that every time someone drives into their driveway, they knock over that <laughs> that statue. Yeah, yeah. But they continue it in the second movie too. They're still knocking it over. <laughs> so good. I'm like, oh, um, that's nice. He wishes he do- he didn't have a family. And then there's like a magic s- Christmas wind. Yes. I mean, it's not really a wish being granted. His no, parents it's not. It's are just, just incompetent. <laughs> but I like that he wakes up and he thinks his wish worked. And then the, that's the, the why. The power goes out. Yes. So they're at, in a rush. And that's why he's home alone. Like the, the whole time, I'm just like, why doesn't he like call the police or anything? But he's a kid and he thinks like, oh, well, my family's just gone. They just don't exist anymore. So yeah. why would he call them? <laughs> the wet bandits. Are great they, in this. Which they get that name because they clog up the sink. Prison yeah. Mike, is this something uh, criminals do? Yeah, stupid criminals. <laughs> they leave calling <laughs> yeah, cards? Yeah, leave calling cards. <laughs> they have a calling card in the next movie, the sticky band. I like that even Joe Pesci's like, that's a sick thing that you're doing. Don't yeah, just them. flooding their whole house for no reason. <laughs> like, we're robbing them, but they'll, like, cause, like, permanent damage yeah. to the house. <laughs> um, we knew who you guys were because you clogged <laughs> yeah, <you're> <laughs> every house. Sick. Yeah, at the end, they're just like, we know like, we can yeah. link you to all and these Mark, houses. Yeah, Mark's like... like yeah. How, can we get, how can we get more time for all these burglaries? I know. We'll just clog up their whole house uh, with water. 
they do a good job, honestly, because he knows yeah. exactly when the lights turn on, when everyone leaves. Well, yeah, he because he posed as a cop, and yeah. apparently, just rich people, if you're just a cop and walk into their house, they'll just tell you everything you want to yeah. know. They're yeah. like, oh, we're going to be away in France. <laughs> should I try that? I should get a cop uniform and just go into people's house and be like, what's your security code? What's that? I got one if you need it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Surprised you were able to get that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, yeah, then we get to, like, the classic moment. Um, you know, we have Kevin... Hanging out in the house, having I fun. I made my family disappear. <laughs> Doing the, uh, with the aftershave, yeah, whatever. Yeah, the aftershave. Uh, but then we get to the traps, which are, like, the selling point of that this. That is the best part. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is, like, post, like, Rambo. Uh, you ever see the first Rambo, First no. Blood? Well, in First Blood, all the Rambo sequels, he's killing a million people. But in First Blood, he's being hunted by American police, and he doesn't want to kill them. So he just sets, like, traps for them. And I guess, like, people got real into booby traps in the 80s. It was, like, the tail end of the 80s. Same with Nightmare on Elm Street. At the end, it was all booby traps. So people were real into booby traps for Same some reason. Same with uh, Scooby-Doo. Any that, of them. That wasn't until later. But anyway. No, but like, oh, the, the cartoon. cartoon. Yeah, yeah. We're like, we're going to split up and set some traps. Yeah. So Kevin sets up a bunch of booby traps to catch the uh, criminals. And that's what everyone remembers from They're this movie. They're really yeah. violent. <laughs> what was your favorite booby trap? Uh, that's hard. That's a tough question. Um, I think I like the torch, the head on the torch, which but, is very uh, dangerous. I don't know how like the the little blind over the door did not catch on fire as well. <laughs> yeah, it was very controlled. Yeah. yeah, Kevin knows how I to. I think control that was the, the most plane. like effective one. That one cracked me up the yeah. most. That is my favorite. I forgot about it until and his today. head wasn't even red or anything. I know he dunked it <laughs> in the snow, but. <laughs> I'm expecting a little bit more damage, but yeah. that's probably the most effective one I like the most. Yeah, that that's also my favorite. What's your favorite? If I'm to be honest, it's not really my favorite. It's the most painful one is when he's walking up the stairs and the nail just... I ha I always turn that... away because he's bare and, <laughs> and then he walks outside and slips. <laughs> so, I, oh, it hurts. So I watched it today for the millionth time, and even now... 34 years old, I still cringe when he steps on that nail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, it's still, like, the, I don't know. It was a huge nail, too. Went, yeah, it was, like, the biggest like, nail. If in the, he full stepped on that, it would have went through his foot. Yeah. yeah. He just went, Oh <laughs> <laughs> um, God, I did not want to see that. I thought, yeah. I always thought, like, when I was watching it again, I was like, did that go through his foot? It didn't, thank God. Yeah. Like, so Daniel oh. Stern actually almost wasn't in this. Really? It was uh, Daniel Roebuck. Who so ended up? Daniel. Yeah, a different one. Who played last year? He played uh, Grandpa Munster and Rob Zombie's The Munsters. That guy would have been. He's a good actor. He's been in good things. That was not good. You know. Uh, but they actually cast him because they wanted Daniel Stern. He like had a. It turns out like they were going to be shooting for too long, so he couldn't do it. And they started filming with that other guy, and it was kind of like a Back to the Future situation where they just fired him, and they went back and they got, they, I guess they worked it out. It's just a side note. I purged that movie, The Monsters, from my head. No offense, Casey. It was, um, yeah, it was pretty bad. The new Monsters. I, was I wasn't really even in the review. I just watched it to make the editing go faster. <laughs> it was and a I Rob Zombie movie? Yeah. Yeah, he, he usually has like Rob good Zombie. movies. No, he doesn't. He uh, has like two. Man, he never put out that Flyers movie. He was going to do the Broad Street Bullies movie. I oh yeah, he never did. I was so looking forward Rob to that. Rob Zombie. Yeah, yeah he's going to put out a scary like Flyers movie. Well, I don't know if it was going to be scary. It was no, it was Rob I, Zombie. I assumed it was going to be scary. No, it was a biopic. I mean, a scary biopic. So yeah, Home Alone one. Great film. Great film. That, that it's clearly not no one is picking that as worst Home Alone. No, it's movie. not. No. Nope. It's not. Yeah. Uh, I will say one last thing. Um. Christopher Columbus, he did an uncredited rewrite, and the thing he added in the script was the old man. Old man, was it Marley? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. My favorite scene in this movie is when he's in the church, and he's talking to the his neighbor. Yeah. And the, I just remember, like, most of the time, every time I turn on like, this special, it's a special movie. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas, whatever. It's, um, <laughs> it's always on that scene, but it's yeah. I love that scene. It is a nice it's scene. It's like a nice, he's learning, like, oh, my neighbor's not scary, but he's also, when he's talking to him, like... Talk to, he's like, tell him, talk to your son. Like, you never, it's heartwarming. You're crying from home alone? <laughs> the old man got to me. Oh. Yeah. And then he goes home about ready to kill a bunch of <laughs> yeah, that is, assholes. That is an awkward moment where he's like, you know, you really got to cherish your family, old man. I got to go murder two guys now. Yeah, <laughs> like, why does he not just home. tell him, like, hey, there's two guys coming to my house at nine. Can you, like, help me out? I don't know. Why does he ever call? He calls the he never tells He never tells his parents. He only ever calls the cops once. It does help that end. he did talk to him because 
they go into the house and old the old man's there and hits him over the head and he's like, let's get you out of here. Which, by the way, I'm sorry, the scene where he actually hits Joe Pesci, I was watching it like on Disney Plus and like HD, has the most obvious stunt man in the world. It's so clearly not that old man at all. But yeah, I like that the added was... of him. He just, yeah, he yeah. just never tells anybody, never tells the old man that it's two guys, he never calls on one. And then when his parents ask him what he did this weekend, Hung around. He just brags about going shopping, and then he's just like, "Oh, just goofing around." Yeah, I, I forgot no. he they doesn't. They could have came up with a way better line. Than I just forgot he doesn't around. tell the parents that he, he also was attacked. Cleans up the house. Yeah, so fast. So fast. I know. If I were that kid, I'd be like. I thought it was mean nah. that um, which we call it. The mom didn't let John Candy spend Christmas with them. Yeah, he's uh, like, oh, John yeah. Candy was a creep in that. He was totally trying to get involved he, with that mom. Well, yeah, he's like, yeah. I have kids. They have kids. We haven't seen them in like. A year. We only see him for like one month yeah. because we're traveling with her. Like, why? What? Go home to your family. <laughs> by the by the way, all his scenes were improvised. He that did the sense. movie as a favor for John Hughes because uh, before this they did Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which was a good movie. You ever see that one? No. That oh man, I think you would like that. That's a that's a good Thanksgiving movie. I haven't watched it all the way through, but I've seen it's the good. Scene it's where good. He's like cursing, and that's the only thing <laughs> made rated R. So he agreed to do this movie. He only got paid four hundred bucks for it. Uh, and he shot all his scenes in a day, and he was allowed. He was given permission by uh, John Hughes or Chris Columbus. He could just improv his lines. So the scene, the scene where he's talking about how he left his kid in like a funeral parlor or something with the body, like he was just making that up on the fly. That's impressive. That's yeah. really fun. <laughs> Even when he's coming up all those uh, names for the songs, I guess that was all improvised too. Yeah, yeah, he was just improv yeah. all of it. <laughs> um, yeah. He's good. Yeah, he's good. He's also really good in Full Shovel Horrors. We're not going to get into that. Yeah, you know what else is really good? Uh, the film that they reference in this, Angels with Filthy Souls, which is a classic film. One, two, ten. Classic. That we all love. I actually have a copy of it here, Prison Mike. I know. So wow. Yeah. yeah. You know, for some reason, it's not available on DVD. It should be. Or blue. It really should. It really Keep should. The change, yeah. you filthy animal. Uh, but the good people at uh, Champagne Video, I will link to their website. Is it on I, Netflix? It it's not on Netflix. Netflix for some reason. Damn it. I'll have to, like, pirate it. I mean, yeah. not. <laughs> Don't pirate Angels with Filthy Souls. You better buy it from the actual website. If I website. do, I'll have a filthy soul. If it's still available. I don't know if it's available. I got to check the link. But uh, you should check out this very real movie, which I have a copy of right there. <laughs> now. Big name actors in it. Big name Ralph actors. Ralph Booty. <laughs> Michael scene, Guido. Scene, yeah, Michael Guido. He was great. That's the, the Italian scene, guy snake. in it. Yeah. The scene that they chose to play in that movie. Iconic. I do love that running gag of him playing the uh, the movie to psych like he to trick people. He knows exactly yeah. when to pause. And I know. Play, and it just has like. Which, by the way, work. growing up be... with VCRs, they weren't that smooth. They no. were not that smooth. No, they went. They would probably notice like that's a TV. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like with all big things that did huge, they did a sequel. Yay! Prison Mike, will you read the synopsis for Home Alone Two: Lost Actually, in no, New I York? Like Home Alone Two. Yay! <laughs> oh! Worry. Kevin McAllister, Macaulay Culkin is back, but this time he's not home alone. He's in New York City with enough cash and credit cards to turn a Big Apple into his own playground. But Kevin won't be alone for long. The notorious wet bandits, Harry and Marv, Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern still smarting from their last encounter with Kevin, are bound for New York, too. Plotting a huge holiday heist, Kevin's ready to welcome them with a battery of booby traps the bumbling bandits will never forget. Wait, a battery of booby traps? Wow, they really like that battery of booby traps line. Yeah, and I didn't trip up on the words like you did, either. Yeah, actually, I, Wait, I, was, I, was, honestly, so, I was so nervous reading that. It's like when you everyone, get called on in school, and it's just like, oh, shit. No, the funniest thing is, like, everyone <laughs> trips up on the words, and I... Was a million percent banking on you fucking up, and you did it perfectly. Just, I wait, know. Until, just wait until it's my turn. Yeah, but I was so nervous reading it. The just entire gets time. made fun like, of oh, weekly man. for her reading. I read good, and her job yeah. on Creep Off is to read things. I it's read, like, I read <laughs> sentence well. Jesus, Home Alone two yes, now. Yes, Jesus, what this Christmas? <laughs> <is up. laughs> so Home Alone two, uh, same crew behind it, same director. They got the actors back. Uncle's usually, uncle's still a dick. Yeah, <laughs> usually sequels are disappointing. I I know people give me shit. I don't like Ghostbusters too, because it's or anything after that. Or anything <laughs> after that, because uh, it's more of the same. Yeah, like the same people though. couldn't recreate the magic. Uh, I'm not that like I did Die Hard two last well, year. I was like that's more of the same. And then you get Home Alone two, and it's like the rare exception where it's like 
just as good, if not better, than the original. I it think works. It was, yeah. I think it was better than the original. I mean, yes. technically, he's not Home Alone. He's just alone. I will say, the title doesn't make any sense. Home Alone to Lost in New York. You're right. not home. <laughs> yeah. Did you bring the house with you? And he was never really lost. <laughs> He, it kind of seemed like he knew where he was going. Yeah, yeah that is pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> yeah. This was before he had GPS on yeah. your phone and all <laughs> yeah. that. He's not really lost. He's just in New York. Yeah. Okay, the title's not the best, but... A- alone. Lost in New York. Yeah. That's what it's called. At least it only took him one movie to get to New York. It took Jason seven movies before he showed up in New York, so he beat Jason to that punch. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, the plot is kind of ridiculous. I do like that it's kind of making fun of itself. Like, they're aware that they're kind of retreading the first one, but they're poking fun of it. Because he's like, because again, Kevin gets into a fight with Buzz. And he knocks down the entire Christmas choir. <laughs> that old lady. And then the old lady, like that was a great part. The, the old, old lady, lady falling gets off the nailed head. in the No, head. I feel like every all those kids, like, Buzz should have just fallen over. Instead, he just grabbed everybody. And, like, it was <laughs> yeah, just well, like, like, come on, Buzz. By the way, I didn't even think what Buzz was doing was even that funny. He was just yeah, putting everyone, the candles behind. Like, he's doing that. And everyone in the movie, in, in the movie theater, in the auditorium is like, oh, my gosh, comedy gold. This is <laughs> like, the best. It, yeah. I'm so glad I came to the end. I don't get why his uncle's spo- laughing. I don't get why it was supposed to be funny. Like Because his ears are big and red. But <laughs> now I said that out loud. Yeah, I don't get yeah, that. Yeah, it wasn't that funny. But uh, that old lady getting hit with the that yeah, was that was thing, that was pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah, he's all like, I wish I w- could do my own vacation. The mom's like, well, you got your wish last year. Maybe well, it'll happen again. He was again. so mad that they were going, where were they going, Florida? Florida, yes. Which, I would which, love to they... go to Florida for Christmas. <laughs> to be and fair, where they ungrateful went, little prick. It's just <laughs> so ungrateful. He'd just rather stay home in windy, cold Chicago. Like, no way. To yeah. be fair, though, uh, where... Where they ended up in in Florida looked like shit. Yeah, he, <laughs> and, and he then, did dodge a bullet. And the uncle's like, it looked better during our honeymoon. <laughs> That's like whenever my family goes to Florida and uh, there's a red tide and I'm like, dodged another bullet. Do you know what a red tide is? No, maybe. So where uh, my family goes in the Gulf of Mexico, like this, what is it? It's like a bacteria that yeah, like. It's, yeah, and it it's kills just, all oh, the Oh, I was thinking it was like a political thing. No, 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 no. The bacteria like goes out of control. <laughs> And it was it, a big red tide in Florida. Yeah, and it kills, oh, yeah. like, all the fish and stuff. And our, like, condo is, like, on the beach. So, like, oh. you wake up and you just smell yeah, death. It just smells like dead fish. Oh. You go into everywhere. the ocean and there's just fish guts everywhere. Oh. They say, like, don't even go in there and swim. I mean, yeah. I went to South Carolina one time and uh, there were sea lice. Oh, God. Uh, let's just say I was glad that our, our the house we were saying it had a pool. <laughs> just killed all those fuckers. Yeah, so their vacation would have sucked if they went to Florida anyway. Which it did. Yeah. They're all sitting in like this motel. But they have yeah. their they own this big house and they get a motel. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty I'm funny. sorry. <laughs> they gotta cut they gotta cut somewhere. <laughs> um I do like Uncle. Well they Frank. have to just they have to fly first class everywhere too. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's where the money's going yeah. to. I do like Uncle Frank. He's like, Don't ruin my vacation that your dad's paying for. I'm like, God damn it, Frank. Uh, I will say I was with Kevin where he's like Give it a break, you cheapskate. Yeah, he yeah, said. And I was like, <laughs> he called him a cheapskate. Yeah, yeah. Love oh, wait, that wait. guy. Flash back to the first one when they do watch when they do bring up Angels of Filthy Souls. Kevin's like, they won't. Uncle Frank won't let me watch it. And the mom's like, if Uncle, if it's too bad for Uncle Frank, then it's not good enough yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah. Which when um, he does watch it, he's like, Mom. And that's when his mom realizes he's missing. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so I like that they keep like making you think the exact same thing's going to happen again. Like, I like when they get in the car and they're like, where's Kevin? And then he's in the front seat. I thought that was funny. Yeah. Not doing me this time. They come up with a good reason for him to get on the other flight. The fact that that guy was wearing the exact same thing as his dad. Also, well, look, he stopped because he was looking for batter. You could have waited, well, Kevin. Well, Jess, he was playing with, what was that called? The, the talk, talk Boy. The Talk Boy. I had that when I was a kid. It was a great toy. I'm so jealous of that. Yeah. So, like, 1992... I was still pretty young, but that's, like, when I can, like, start remembering advertisements for movies. And I remember, like, when this came out, like, I didn't even know really what Home Alone was, but I remember seeing cr- so many commercials for the Talk Boy. Yeah. Yes! Now you can be as clever as Kevin with Tiger's new Talk Boy tape recorder. Stop drooling on me! Stop drooling on me! And it's it's obviously product placement in this. Like the the way he's using it constantly, they were definitely trying to sell it for that holiday yeah, season. Definitely. I mean, it's definitely cool, but now I have a smartphone. 
Like, that's not as cool. Not I mean, as cool. yeah. Um, I need to text my dad. He has asked if my dog was fed. <laughs> <laughs> when did you see this one, Prison Mike? Did when you, it came out. You also saw it in theaters? Yes. Man, I didn't get to see any of these. Neither did I, because I was not. <laughs> you weren't alive. Existing. Um, <laughs> yeah, so like he gets on the other flight, and again, he thinks his wish came true. He's like, wait a minute. I get to have my. I love see, that he literally could get himself out of this situation. He's like, wait. I want my own vacation. <laughs> no, but he also doesn't realize where he's going because, like, he gets in a rush. He drops his boarding pass. Yeah. And they're just like, oh, are you sure your family's in here? He's like, yeah, I just saw my dad run in. What makes sense. And then he sees the guy go into first class. He knows his dad's in first class. He yeah. goes in there, puts on the headphones, and doesn't hear the location they're going to. And I'm like, okay, that's smart. They're really going out of their way. These two because movies. Because the guy next to him is talking in, like, a different language. Yeah. And he's like... He puts his headphones on. Yeah. If the guy's still talking, these two movies do a good job. Even though they're ridiculous premises that would never happen, they do a good job of making you believe they'll happen. The yeah. later ones, not so much. No. The later ones, it's like this is an easy situation to solve. Also, they're not really alone. So like, but... Yeah, that's yeah. But, also um, an issue. In the first one, they miss they they forget about him because the neighbor comes over and he's like bugging like the, the oh right yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah just didn't have four torque or whatever to, I forget what said. Drive but they count they touch his head they count him as yeah. Kevin and that's yeah, yeah. Um, so they, these two movies do a good job of being like that's how they forgot Kevin that makes sense yeah. uh oh oh what happened was me. Put it in, Prison Mike, are you trying to burgle my store right now? Yeah. You trying to? I'm gonna, are you gonna sell I'm gonna that? I'm gonna flood it next. You gonna sell that mic stand on the streets? <laughs> um. So yeah. Uh. The, speaking of the wet bandits, they're now the sticky bandits. Yes. Uh. I love. I love the. I love the newspaper article that blows on the door saying that they broke out during a prison riot. Yeah. Uh, and I guess they also, because what, they live in Chicago, right? The first movie? Chicago. And then yeah. I guess the Wet Bandits also decided to go to New York. Yeah, like, they're they really, into like. a van with fish. Yeah. yeah. They're like, you smell that? It smells like fish. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's, again, it's so ridiculous how they're just trying to set everything up. And it's, like, real coincidental. Uh, but, like, not in an annoying way. Like, Die Hard 2 was kind of annoying. And even John McClane was like, how can the same thing happen to the same guy twice? And it's like, yeah, that is kind of ridiculous, John. Yeah. But here I'm enjoying it. I'm just like, you know what? That is kind of funny that they, they literally walk right past each other in New York. And he's just like, yeah. if I saw something. But like, yeah. with those, with Kevin and the Wet Bandits, like, they're so, like, the Wet Bandits, like, you can't take them seriously. No. Because no. Joe Pesci, every time something happens, like, fresh, fresh. No, I love that. I, so yeah, I love his censored cursing. Yeah. <laughs> Um, by the way, there's like a bunch of uh, what you call it, um, like big actors in smaller Tim roles. Curry. Yeah, well, Tim Curry, Rob Schneider, Rob in Schneider, it. derp to derp. Uh, where did it not print the second page? Oh the, no, sorry, reverse. Um, let me see. Who's here. the lady? The uh, lady at the hotel. Oh, oh the lady. Hair. Yeah, the lady who's uh, the clerk. Yeah, and she's just um, like, Meh. What'd you call it? She's the lady who marries Cousin It in the first Adams Family movie. Oh. Yeah. It's I'll that. be honest, I haven't seen the first Adams Family movie all the way, but I've seen the end. She comes back in the second one. I would, I'm not surprised. <laughs> no. Have you yet to watch the Adams Family from the 90s? Oh, uh, yeah, but I don't remember it. I still, watch. They, they still. I watched them both the other night. They still hold Have up. Have you seen the animated one that came out? Those are fun ago? too. Yeah, those are fun. Those are fun too. Anyway, uh, I was more bored. What you call the when he when Kevin gets off the plane and he talks to like the girl at the desk? That's Ali Sheedy from The Breakfast Club, huh. the real creepy girl oh. who was in like a bunch of movies. Yeah, okay. She's in a movie called Man's Best Friend. Did you ever see that one? No. Oh, it's about a genetically enhanced like super dog that goes, but he's in love with Ali Sheedy. And he literally is, like, trying to, like, kill her boyfriend. Like, he literally, the dog figures out a way to cut the boyfriend's brakes in his car. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's the most insane ridiculous. movie no, ever. Uh, 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 do they get together? No, Thank unfortunately. God. Okay, no, 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 not unfortunately. Thank yeah. God. Are you kidding me? Oh, th that one guy's in it. Oh yes, that uh, one guy, the one with that looks like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> you what? Are you are you talking about our greatest president no. ever? Our greatest president. Our ever. greatest president no. ever. Excuse me, where's the lobby? Down the hall and to the left. Thanks. Donald Trump, who is helping Kevin McAllister find his way, much like he helped America find their He's way, find their way back <laughs> during those four years and make America great again. Now, 
uh, prison bike. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised you're a Trump fan. I, I noticed he didn't pardon you when he left office. Do you held any resentment for Donald Trump? No, not at all. No, he really needed to pardon. Who was that rapper that he pardoned? I don't know. Who was it? I don't know. Kanye? Whoever no. was, I think he was more deserving than you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I don't know why I thought Kanye was. I don't know if they have yet, but there were talks like for the cable broadcast they were going to cut that scene. I don't think they ever did. Who like who? He's in the movie for like five seconds. Yeah, honestly, Pe- people. And he did no, an excellent no job. To he did do a great no job. Actually, to anyone, I don't like Donald Trump. Whoa. But his cameo is innocent in this. <laughs> yeah. It's honestly, People... they're, they're like, excuse me, sir. He's like, da, 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 da. that's my Actually, that's it's offensive. pretty I'm fun. Sorry. Actually, you know what? I will criticize his acting because he's like, it's down the whole left. Then he walks, but then he like turns around to look back at Macaulay Culkin. It's like, no, keep walking. Well, he's just wondering well, no, why he, this little boy yeah, is just wandering yeah. the halls. No, I agree with that. He cares so that, much. That's why. That's why. Just like he, he does he, about no, this country. I did not <laughs> even think that was like bad. He's just like a child. By the way, do you remember when he left the Screen Acting Guild? He what no. now? He when he left the Screen Acting Guild, which is why he wasn't pro he protesting with them this summer. If he was still in the guild, I'm pretty sure he would have been protesting all summer long. Awesome. But he wrote like a letter like after he left the Screen Acting Guild. He's like, I'm proud of my performances, and he's like in Home Alone too. I and mean, this he, like to your barely. And the he got he got the star he's before the Macaulay Culkin got a star. He did. He did. So it is funny that people forget like they get so mad when they see him in older things. It's like no before like. 2008, he was like beloved by well, not everyone, but he was like beloved by Hollywood. They loved him. In 2016, he he was beloved by everybody. (laughs) Not in the entertainment industry. In the entertainment industry, loved him before all that. I mean, celebrities were in line for his parties. Couldn't (laughs) wait to go to his party. And to be on, he was in The Apprentice. He said, "You're fired." Celebrity Apprentice. George Takei talks a lot of shit, but George Takei was on The Celebrity Apprentice. And then he was replaced by uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, didn't last long. Got canceled in one season. He was also hmm. a politician at one point. He was. Wow. Yeah. Now listen. Um, also did a horrible job. <laughs> yeah, but I know I know Republicans who voted for him who did not like him as governor. No. Um, yeah. But yeah, so people have been talking about how like they might remove that scene from the cable broadcast, it's which is innocent. stupid. It's honestly But I fun. think Macaulay Culkin optioned himself to re- digitally, like, they want to digitally replace Donald Trump and old Macaulay Culkin's like, I'll do it. So that way it's young Macaulay Culkin asking old Macaulay Culkin. That would for honestly actually... I'm like, I'm like, if you're gonna, don't change it, but if you're gonna change it, that's the funniest that's thing you could do. That's the only way. <laughs> yeah, I would that never would want them to great. change it, but that would be really That, would be, that would be really funny. That would be so good. You know, I have a green screen. Maybe I can replace maybe, maybe Donald Trump. Maybe I can Trump. do it because I, someone else played <laughs> Kevin. No, we're going to get to people who try to replace Kevin. Hold that thought. You're right. Um, Imagine if Joe Biden told him which way to go. <laughs> Joe Biden's like, I don't even know where I'm going. Where's, <laughs> where's the- <laughs> and, then he would just, and then he would just try sniff him. That would be awful. And then he'd fall. <laughs> yeah. And then he'd, he'd trip on his bike. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, look, I hate politicians. So no, much. look, this was the 90s. Joe Biden was trying to take care of those super predators around this time. Yes. Uh, his words. Um, anyway, I love Tim Curry in this. I usually just love Tim Curry. But when, he's, when, he, when he goes into the bathroom. Yeah, his character is a little ridiculous. Like, like they they care way too much about that kid. They're like, why is that kid always by the himself? parents make a good point. to like, you saw that kid and he didn't think to, like, I don't know, like, Make sure he didn't leave the hotel. And they're like, no, we scared him away. That's yeah. My, that's my Tim Curry impression. It was bad. That's a pretty care. good Tim Curry impression. Oh, it was good? Yeah. Wow. I love when they put the Grinch next to Tim Curry and they smile. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly that was a good, yeah, that was a good yeah. Curry. I love Tim Curry's smile, man. <laughs> he was so good. And Rob um, Schneider, he's like, he wants a tip. A tip. <laughs> oh, yeah. What gone. does he give him, like gum or something? And then he's like, I still saw that tip. And he's like, oh. Yeah, they pulled <laughs> out like, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, like a million dollars. Like that. Um, I do love the the plot device where Kevin is um, he uh, gets his dad's credit card. He's just charging everything on the. He's he gets, like got he like spends mountains. Nine yeah, hundred dollars on a thing of ice and they cream. Just, like I feel so old because then they use that old credit card machine where they just sway. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh my god, They're I remember like, he that. He doesn't know how to use a credit card, <laughs> and then they cut to him using a credit card. Yeah, like he's like, it's like I can't believe that worked. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they didn't ask for an ID or anything. Um, and he gets the limo. And dude, the I used to hate that thing. When I was working in retail, we only used it once in a while. It was like whenever the system was down. I hated that thing so much. I don't yeah. know how people use that for so long. We had something like that when I worked at Joanne's. But only like... It, it was like a digital thing. But like, 
It was for, like, no, it was for check. I forget. No, we did use that one time because someone's yeah. credit card wasn't working and it was stupid. <laughs> that, because, that point, just turned them away. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> no, the manager had to do it. I just witnessed it. Oh. Like, still, I was like, hey, this person's being a real asshole. Yeah. She wants me to use her coupon and I keep telling her it's invalid. <laughs> um... So yeah, I do like that the the wet bandits they like bump into him and they're like, sticky oh, you bandits. Ha- Harry, sorry, the sticky bandits. Harry still has the M on his hand. <laughs> that's that's a good detail. He has the yeah. McAllister thing on his hand, and he literally has a gun. He does. He does. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. <laughs> um. So they're on a mission to like kill him. Like they say, they, 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 like I'm gonna murder that kid. Wait, I love that they give him his entire plan. Yeah. Their, their, their entire plan. He's just like, we're gonna rob the toy store tonight. It's like, don't, don't give them your plan, you idiot. Yeah, Mar- Mar- Marv is uh, more f- silly in this one. When he ta- they take a picture and he's like, he took a picture. How did my hair look? <laughs> yeah, they, they upped everything. They upped the comedy. They upped how ridiculous those two are. And they really up the traps. The traps are insane. In I this. like the traps. They so much better in this been, one. Yeah, they should have been. Fucking dead. <laughs> they should have, yeah, yeah they literally the brick would have killed. The brick, there were like five <laughs> bricks that hit Marvin. He's like, just a little bruise. I'm like, no, that would cave in your head. Like, are you kidding me? The best booby trap is when he hooked up with the electricity to the sink. I, and- to this day, <laughs> I laugh. So I remember <laughs> my mom and I, whenever we would watch this, like, th- we we would just lose it laughing at that every single time. Yeah. I realized I never watched this movie all the way through until I watched it recently. I had really? never seen the ending until really? recently. Oh, I have yeah. seen the the shocking scene because we recreated that in the Home Alone. Yeah, and the, Die, the, Hard, the Die Hard video last year where we re- re- recreated that. Oh, uh, the second one Sean. so much more than the first one. Yeah. Uh, just the traps are better. I like, yeah, I like the traps in this one better. I do like the traps better in this one. Yeah. They really upped it. I mean, the traps in the first one are simple, but it makes sense in the first one because mm. it's like he's a kid. Yeah. This one, he's just, I guess he like looked up on the internet or in like a, <laughs> like a book, like, how can I kill people? <laughs> and like. All right, so the house, you said it, it's like an uncle's house? It's or his something? uncle's yeah, house. It's his uncle's house and it was being restored, so they were away. Okay. So he just caused more damage to his uncle's house. Yeah, yeah. That by the way, that house was like falling apart. It had no floor. No floor. I do <laughs> like when, what you call it, Marv walks in and falls right through I've the floor. I've reached the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's bragging about it. <laughs> I thought, so another reason why I was like, I have never seen this all the way through is because we used that line in the the Die, die Hard, Hard one, and I thought that came from Die Hard. No, it came from. I didn't this. realize it came from Home Alone too. And I watched. I'm like, well, I'm an idiot. But um, <laughs> the, in the 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 same like the similar scene, his mom goes up to the the house, yeah. comes back down, calls a taxi right when Kevin <laughs> walks by. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, they keep like missing each other. Um. Also, Joe Pesci's got a good moment. I love when he like jumps up on the fire escape and oh, yeah. just falls right down onto his back. Yeah, it has all that go on it. <laughs> the slapstick is so good in this. Like it's yeah. so much better. I did like the sound effects in the one scene where they, they follow him to Central Park and they're taking out all the kids' hats like whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> And he takes um, off one guy's hands like whoop. I love uh the tool shed down the stairs. <laughs> Oh, yeah. When he goes, what's that sound? That yeah, what's that sound? It's, I love how it perfectly it's... went down the steps. <laughs> yeah, it didn't, like, <laughs> like fall over. It would have yeah. fallen over. Yeah, yeah. but I like, that's the sound of a tool it's shed. A tool, down tool, down tool the, the card falling down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> and again, since we're kind of recycling stuff from the first one, Kevin gets a new older friend, and this time it's the homeless pigeon lady. Yeah, and which kind of... is very scary. Yes. Like, it's very scary when you just have this lady that has a bunch of dirty yeah. pigeons on her. Shit. Yeah. I mean, she literally attacks the sticky bandits. I just want yeah. you guys to know this. Um, Seeds. This type of homeless person doesn't exist, at least in New York. I spent Maybe a lot. she's a recent homeless person. I spent a lot of time in New York. Uh... I've never met a homeless person this nice and caring. And especially the people who are real into pigeons, they are assholes. I mean, I'm in the pigeons. They are like obnoxious assholes. Wait, the scariest so... person in that whole movie, though, was the taxi cab driver. Oh, that's oh, a good that moment. Like... I remember when I was, I was like, cool. I had the same reaction as Kevin. What's wrong with you know, the you know what I like yeah. about these movies, the, uh, these first two. There are some scary moments, like the first one with the the heater in the basement. Yeah, that they, they designed to look like a scary face. Yeah. I, Shut I do up. like those moments. <laughs> Oh yeah, but also, I do- he did in this movie. He does make a friend with the uh, the toy store. Owner. That's true. Yeah. Yes. And he uh, gets the two turtle doves. The two turtle doves. So um, <laughs> yeah, that old lady. She's just like, oh, I'm just a nice old lady. I'm like, nah, nah. If 
you're on the street in New York, you're either addicted to drugs or you're up crazy. In, I yeah. snuck, up, snuck up into the orchestras of uh, yeah. the auditorium, and they're just sitting there with all. I'm like, what? Did, what? Yeah, how does she break in? And like, that? when he leaves, he's like, just goes down a, like a flight of stairs. I'm like, yeah. that was shown to be really high up. Like, how'd you? Um, I don't know. Uh, I was going to say, there was one homeless lady who used to hang outside Madison Square Garden. Uh, when I was first going to New York, she had a sign that said she was pregnant. So she can get, like, money from people. But uh, throughout, like, the year, like, much later in the year, I guess she just got pregnant again because she still had that belly and still had the sign. I'm like, I think that's just a fat lady who's <laughs> just getting money from people coming out of the train station. It's smart. <laughs> why Why was she homeless? Did she say why she was homeless? She had a husband. Okay. And then she didn't. And then that happened. Yeah, I think she did go into depth of why she was homeless, but I don't remember. It, she it was like, I used to have a husband... I wanted kids. Never happened. My husband left me, and I guess he was the income. That's my. I forget honestly. What is she? Can she not get a job or disability? You don't just end up on the street because your husband <laughs> left she you. She didn't have a disability again, she unless you're like something. addicted to drugs or something. Yeah. There's like, it's really hard for like a sane person to end up on the street for that long. I mean, she's definitely mentally ill. She's having all these. She is pigeons, hanging out hanging with pigeons. Out pigeons, and again, the pigeon people I I had to come across in New York were a little unhinged. Look, look pigeons are are they listen? No, they don't. They're just rats with wings. Rats with wings. Yeah. Rats with wings yeah. Well, so are seagulls. Um. Yeah. yeah. God, seagulls are annoying too. Ah! Uh. But yeah, she ends up saving the day, much like the first one. Though that was a. What she did was brutal. Throwing like all this, the, like the the, seeds, they had yeah. like the goo on them. Oh, oh my god! I just remembered. The seeds. Have you ever seen those YouTube videos where people add gore to Home Alone? No, but my no. dad. Oh, <laughs> dude, this like effects guy. He adds like blood and stuff to the traps. Really? So when they get hit with like the paint cans, like blood splatter. They do the pigeons, but then they add close-ups of like their like guts coming out. It's like the pigeons are like eating them. Ew, that's awesome. I gotta send you the videos. They're pretty yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, that's because hilarious. afterwards I just I'm like they have a few scratches on their face. I'm like, ugh. No, like, they would be oh devoured. no. Um oh. yeah, and it's just it's just a good time. It's the rare case where a sequel shouldn't be as good as it is. Like the first one is like, how did that end up being as good as it was? And then the sequel to be even superior. It's like they managed to catch lightning in the bottle twice. Yeah. I don't know how they did that. How well do you think the Home Alone movies would have done, one and two, if they weren't Christmas movies? Do you think that, that had a big true. effect on <sighs> Yeah. I guess, if he was just Home Alone in July. Christmas in July. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're well, going no, away I for mean, Christmas in July, honey. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Paris. Well, look, yeah. they're following the Die Hard method. Okay, the second one is also on Christmas. It's just slightly different. Yeah. Um, no, you're right. The Christmas thing adds the whole like family. And also, yeah, it think, helps make it be a family film. And also, yeah. Macaulay Culkin, like his performance as Kevin, is just memorable. Like you can't. Yeah. Yeah, he was good. He's he was good. Really good. Like, he's like he's talking to the camera a bunch. Like this is it. Don't get scared. Like that's what he makes the movie. Yeah, yeah. Um, Especially with his scream that. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Which I recreated. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yeah, but you know, kids get older. You know, they age out of certain roles, but you got to keep the franchise going, and that's how you get a Home Alone three. Well, Jess, whose know. job it is to read things, can you read the plot synopsis for Home Alone three? I can, but it won't be good. All right. Big laughs, a real kid pleaser. Honestly, I thought it said kid pleasure. And I was <laughs> Joe's, Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. Uh, the U.S. Air Force has a new secret weapon, and he's an eight-year-old. And he's only eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> I messed it up already. From comedy legend John Hughes comes the hilarious action-packed hit that's lots of fun for the entire family, Kids Net News Network. Oh, the Kids News Network. That's my favorite news network. K-N-N. This is the weird... <laughs> All right. Um, a band of international crooks has hidden a... I'm, just, I'm reading this because it's just reminding me of it. Oh, my God. <laughs> a, a band of international crooks has hidden a military computer chip inside a toy car, but an airport mix-up, which is really stupid, lands it in the hands of whiz kid Alex Pruitt. Alex D. Linz. Linz who's home alone with the chicken pox in a quiet Chicago suburb. 
also Chicago. Mm. When the criminals zero in on Alex's house with their high-tech gadgetry, madness, and mayhem kick into high gear at this pint-sized... Uh, damn it! As 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 <laughs> as, ah, as the pine size hero defends himself against the bumbling bad guys, armed with an outrageous array of ambushes and booby traps. 1997 color, 102 minutes. <laughs> okay, that was so his, this is that was as bad as it got. <laughs> the bumbling bad guys, not to be confused with the bumbling bandits. Array of <laughs> yes. ambushes yeah. and booby traps. Yeah, was there a battery of booby traps? <laughs> <laughs> um. So Rajna Gosnell directs this he was the editor on the previous two I mean, I'm so uh we've actually covered two of his movies jess well not me and you but on the show we did the scooby-doo films he directed the live action scooby-doo films oh i don't think i edited those ones or did, wait i did you did the second one yeah the second one um yeah uh so new director but john hughes is still writing and i guess again if these films are basically kid die hard. I guess he saw die hard three. He's like, I got to switch things up for the third one. Hey, it's a real kid pleaser. He didn't <laughs> switch it up enough. I feel, um, well, the setup is a little different with the high tech, uh, like spy people. Yeah. Look, I, that was different. I told you this. My brother had come downstairs mm -hmm. as I'm watching this, uh, no, he wasn't hung over. <laughs> anyway, no, he was. Um, but okay. <laughs> sorry, Drew. But um, <laughs> well, don't, now people are going to know that your brother Drew is an alcoholic. Thank you. No, he's not. <laughs> the first, Drew, the first step to recovery is admitting you have a problem. Anyway, continue. This. Um, <laughs> if he does, cool high. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> uh, something about the, the, the. Oh, no, I was explaining the movie to him. Oh, yeah. He's like. Oh, it's, I wouldn't have guessed it was Home Alone 3 because one, the kid's different, but I was explaining to him and I was like enjoying it for some of it. And then I s explained it out loud to him and I'm like, no, wait, this is stupid <laughs> because I had to explain that they put a chip into a toy car, yeah. which why did they have that? Okay. So that's basically the plot of El Mariachi. But this isn't El Mariachi. This is Home Alone 3. I know. So the plot of El, <laughs> you ah! probably know what Desperado is with Antonio Banderas. Yeah. You ever see that action movie? No. Okay. But I know it. Well, that's the American sequel. But the original Mexican film, there's like a plot device where like there's an El Mariachi, a guitar player, and his case accidentally gets switched with an assassin who has a guitar case full of guns. And that's kind of what they're doing in this where like the toy cars get switched or whatever. The bags get switched and one has like... Bread. The high yeah, one has bread and the other one has yeah. the Which, high how tech do you stuff. Like the, the one woman who's the crook, um, yeah. she's just like, this isn't it. Meanwhile, the old lady who took the toy car... Didn't feel how heavy and square it was. I'm sorry, <laughs> Al Alice Ribbons, played by uh, what's her name, Ria Kizlar. I can't pronounce her name. I will say Lenny Von Dolan, the late Lenny Von Dolan's in this, and he was Harold in Twin Peaks. I have to mention when anyone from Twin Peaks uh, is in it. I love Twin Peaks. I do love Twin Peaks. Uh, um, uh, okay. He's one of the bad guys. Uh, so I remember uh, when this came out, people were like, "Oh, Macaulay Culkin's on in it," which he kind of aged out. By this point, yeah, it, they make it. I'll say this: they make it work for the third one because I'm like, even though it, like it, it's it's a good standalone. They came the only up thing the, that's different is it's Home Alone three. I'm yeah, like, they came oh. up with a good reason for why the kid would be Home Alone with the chicken pox. Like, and I like get he it. kept calling the cops, and they it was like a false. Okay, so time. it's also a remake of Rear Window. I'm sorry, Suburbia starring Shia LaBeouf. That's also ah. a remake of Rear Window. Where like the whole thing is like the guy is stuck home alone. He's like looking through. Oh yes, I have seen he's that. He's looking through a telescope and witnessing crimes. And, and no he's one also looking at peeping on girls. And then he sees a crime. Yeah. He does on the movie. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they, there's a good reason for the kid to be home. It, um, it makes I don't sense. hate the kid that much. The mom could just like quit her job. I think her son's a little bit more important. Look, this is the 90s. <laughs> she's a 90s feminist career woman. She's not quitting her job. And she's also a redhead. Yes. <laughs> like every mom in this movie is a redhead. Yes. Uh, that actually, because I was a bigger Beetlejuice fan, the first two movies always used to trip me up that the mom was nice because she's such a mean mom in Beetlejuice. That always she's used a to great actress. Me. Who's on Shit's Creek? Is she shit on Shit's Creek? I, I, look, my cousin had a Shit's Creek birthday party. And I was so confused because I don't watch the show. I didn't get any of the references or jokes. Uh, but anyway, so I remember when this came out, people weren't excited for it because Macaulay Culkin wasn't in it. Uh, I remember watching it. It was like my parents had to go to some party and all the kids were in one room and it like just came out on video. Yeah. And I remember watching it and I remember not liking it as much as the first two, but really enjoying it as a kid. You seem like you didn't. 
you didn't seem like you liked it going into Kids it. You were a little. No, I had, like that. Yeah. yeah, I had a bad attitude going into it because I know it wasn't the first two. Yeah, and it wasn't going to live up to the hype, but definitely wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Oh, it's better than and the I, other ones. It wasn't disappointing. Yeah, it's it again. I'm not gonna. Yeah, like, I didn't expect it to live up to its hype, but it did fairly well. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a cult following now. Yeah. Some people really like, like uh, Johanna said that she loves it. Joey C who I don't care about his opinion because I kicked him off the I show. I care. I kicked him off the show and nothing will get Joey C back on the show. Uh, I know he loves three. So there are people who really love yeah, I wouldn't. Three. I don't want to say I love it. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. I would I agree like with it. that. It's definitely but not the worst. Yeah. I enjoyed it. The traps were really good in this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they are... Even more insane than two. The the bad guys. They're not the same as the web band. Yeah, and I get because you got Because they're supposed to be international crooks, but then right when they get to the neighborhood, they're all goofy. But like at the beginning, they're like super serious and like, uh oh. Yeah, I I we guess that's one bread. thing you can do to make it different, whereas like the other two were like bumbling idiots. What's it like when like real smart crooks are now being outsmarted? And then it's stupid. not as funny as it is in the yeah. first two. Um <laughs> Again, the traps the traps are pretty insane, but some of them are a little some ridiculous. Of them, some of those people should have the, died. The trampoline one was a little ridiculous. That one was funny. That <laughs> I'm one, like, no, how that did was... he set that up? Like, that that seems really hard. It was funny, though. I, I will say. And they're both freezing there. It was, what was it, the wood chipper or something? Like, the snow plow? Yeah, doesn't a wood chipper go over a guy? Or, oh, yeah, it, the snow plow. It gives plow. him a yeah. haircut. <laughs> no, that should have fucking... There's no blood. That should have fucking... Yeah. We should have seen his brain. Destroyed him. Yeah. <laughs> He like should have been fucking dead. <laughs> like, that graphics guy on YouTube, gore. I would like to see that. After that. I don't know if he did three. I, um, I'm going to hunt down yeah. those videos. If he oh, did he three, that, really funny. that Walmart over the head, that would have been gruesome. I yeah. think yeah. this isn't really a spoiler. I think in Violent Night, there was a kill with a witch. I got to watch that one. It's really good. The kill, the, yeah. yeah, I got to watch oh, that. Oh, my God. Let me just um, say that my dad and I were in the theater. They have a Home Alone sequence in that movie. <laughs> and let me say, it's not like goose and gas. It's like my dad and I were in the theater like... Oh, no. By the way, the most <laughs> surreal thing, sorry, I'm talking about my good friend Mac again, was when we did the AVGN Home Alone episode and we're like setting up the Home Alone traps like with Macaulay Culkin. I'm like, this feels so weird. I'm like, I never thought as a kid I'd be recreating Home Alone moments with Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> were you jealous you didn't get to hang out? I was jealous because like as four-year-old me, five-year-old me, I would have that would have been like, a dream come true. At least you didn't text me nonstop. Trisha was screaming at me. She wanted to hang out I with I wasn't so part bad. of the show yet. No, you weren't around. And there I was find... no show yet. Well, Hack the Movie was around, but the podcast version yeah. wasn't. I would have um, just been like, please, how do you make my family jealous? <laughs> I think we talked to him about the kid from there. He's like, yeah, I don't have a problem with him or anything. I don't think he cares. Uh, but yeah, some people, that was like, some people hate it just for that reason. I, I, I Scarlett Johansson's in this. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sorry, that's just like just I was thinking of like the siblings and the bird, the fucking stupid. And I and bird. I think I think seven year old Tony was like that girl's cute. Now thirty four year old Tony's like that, that woman is cute. still a baby. Yeah. yeah, she's still that's, really. Yeah, good. that's what I thought. I too. saw Scarlett Johansson, but I did not recognize her until like. Plus, it took his, me a oh, sorry, his siblings are also just like you're a plague, Alex. You're yeah, really no mean. No one <laughs> likes you, but they like a they're, bit they're, more not even, they're not like just like yelling at him. They're just like. Yeah, you suck. <laughs> we're gonna They're be... just like standing in a corner like, Alex, you shouldn't have been born. Fuck we're, you. We're going to be <laughs> like no, go play destitute with rat, and poor Doris. because of you. The world laughs, Alex. You've stained the family name. Yes. We're going to be in New York with pigeons because of you, the Alex. brother's bird is the worst. Okay, look, look, look. Yet. That's not how parrots I work. know. That's why it's annoying. <laughs> I'll forgive it in Aladdin. But in this movie, yeah. I'm like, I'm sorry. I can't forgive it. Wait, uh, the live action Aladdin? No, just no. Why would I ever reference the live action Good. Aladdin? Good. <laughs> no, the real Aladdin. With Iago, voiced by my other good friend, the late Gilbert Godfrey, who I worked with multiple times. No, I'm just saying the live you action did? one. Huh? You worked with Gilbert Godfrey? Yeah, twice. Really? Yeah, one for the Ed Bassmaster TV show and two for the Angry Video Game Nerd. Look, oh, I didn't know that. Look, he was, yeah. he was still alive. Uh, they should have brought him back for uh, the live action Aladdin and said they just did bird sounds. They yeah. were like, Bruh! No, they got a good actor to do Yaga and then they didn't let him do a, like, a, we're not talking about that today. 
You know, it's funny when we filmed. No, Pri- no, I'm just pissed. When I filmed the review with uh, Carl from Private Parts, I remember right before that, I'm like, oh, Gilbert Goffrey just died. And then we had to do the whole video <laughs> thinking about that. I remember I had to do like oh. an in memoriam. Yeah, we had to. Find- and there was, was like a moment where like I kept no, naming like, people who were dying. I'm like, Jess, yeah, just put an in memoriam yeah, yeah, for but it anyone who's like, died. It was you filmed that weeks before like he passed away, <laughs> and so I just was like, oh my god, yeah, you Tony, we- like, you know why weird- are we doing this? You know what the weird one was when we did Beetlejuice, and I played the uh, voicemail of Alec Baldwin screaming at his daughter. <laughs> From like 2007, I'm like, man, don't make Alec Baldwin angry. And then a week later, he <laughs> shot that girl. Yeah. <laughs> and people oh. were like, before the details were out, people were like, wow, Tony, you called it. I'm like, I didn't call shit. I'm like, I was making fun of him for something else. You are just like, let's let's call out something now. Let's no, call out. No, I'm not it. calling out anything right now. We can predict the future, guys. Home Alone 3. Home Alone In 3. In the comments right now. Go. Um, also, dinner. The, shut up. <laughs> Uh, the one thing that really took me out of the movie was the cartoon sound effects. Yeah. yeah that was brutal. They went overboard with the cartoon sound effects. <laughs> and again, the criminals aren't as funny. Actually, the long hair guy's not too bad. He was pretty funny. Yeah. He, like, gets covered in shit and then just <laughs> changes into, like, a nice suit. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't too bad, but, like, the main guy is boring, I think. Yeah, they were lame. Yeah, they and almost killed a woman. They put her in the garage, left that's the door like, open. And that's the yeah. thing. So like, in a freezing cold. Yeah, yeah. So the first film, the first two films, go between like being wacky and kid like, but then also bringing in some serious stuff. Yeah, they almost killed the kid yeah. twice, Kevin. I yeah, but in this one, like, it's just that old lady being like held hostage. Yeah, because and, like, she's that's the it. one who took the toy car with the U.S. Air Force chip. That's yeah, so stupid. And that was their plan to kill her to just leave the door open and. Hope she freezes to death. And why would you well, she was almost like, there. If somebody could see her and like save her, like why? Yeah, I was gonna say, could she, was she like even gagged or anything? No, no, well, no yeah, she was. She had was tape she? over her mouth. Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I feel like I could have like squirmed out of there. Well, she's yeah. old and fragile and probably senile, so it's fine. <laughs> probably, like it's still gonna be cold, really cold in there with the door shot. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess. Garages so. don't have heaters. Mm. It's it just cold. didn't seem like that good of a method to kill someone. Feels like a lot of things could have went wrong. Someone could have peeked in and be like, oh, shit, there's an old lady. That's title. what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they like they came up with a good reason for why the cops don't intervene because he kept calling them too yeah, many that, times. So that, that, I like that. Yeah. I was like, OK, that sets up the plot of why he has to make the traps. Yes. Unlike future ones that we're going to get to. Yeah. But um, I yeah. mean, it's it's funny. I feel like if you show like these three to like a kid who is unaware. Hey, that was the thing. So Network. we were aware. Of, so yeah. like trying to prove to the cops. That there was like burglars trying to break in and try and get the chip, but then when he had actual video footage of it, it's he didn't even show him. Well, yeah, no, that no, was no, weird. He, maybe he it did didn't have say... video footage, but right. the, the crooks took it out oh. and took it. Is that what happened? Yeah, that's what happened. Because he did they he, get it back somehow? No, the the crooks destroyed it. Okay, they like, threw it away. Oh, see, I was too busy saying that's not how parrots talk. I, <laughs> I missed that detail. I mean, I, I that was like I'm surprised I actually caught that detail because other than that. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I really did like this movie. <laughs> minus, <laughs> again, minus again, the plot. It's fun. Again, it's, it's fine not, and fun. It's fine and fun. It's not that bad. It's just not as rewatchable Kids as the News first two. Network said it was a lot of fun <laughs> for the entire family. Um, and I said that in a good way. By the way, that again, the parrot, I think, is just too much. Oh, my God. He's just like, yeah, you... Double or nothing. Yeah, it knows too many references, and like it's aware of what they mean. It they blows up the bad guy at the end. Yeah. Counting down in five, four, three. Thank God the rat didn't talk. Doris. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, the fact that I remember the rat's name was Doris. Yeah, I don't know why yeah, they you, went you all. Did love this movie. I guess I did. Yeah. Why did they go all in on like the wacky animals? Like the first hey, one on had the, the back tarantula. Of, on the back of this one. Uh, the the rat's wearing a uh, an army hat, and the and the parrot has like human bug eyes. I'm like, that's terrifying. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's. Th- I think the animal sidekicks are what's making me like put it. By lower. the way, there's only one animal in the first one, and that's the tarantula. Yeah, and then the second one, there's nothing. Yeah, which fun fact when Daniel Stern did that scream with the tarantula, he couldn't actually scream because it would like frighten the thing. So he had to do that just like oh really with his mouth open and then he yeah. ADR'd the scream yeah. later on. <laughs> it was a loud scream. I, it was like, a loud got, scream. High bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, if he would have really screamed, would have, like, st- it would have either, like, scared it, stressed it out, or would have bit him or something. I guess something. the yeah. animal sidekicks of the second one were the pigeons. 
Oh, yeah, I guess that's it, the pigeons. Yeah. But they weren't, like, talking pigeons. In this one, the rat, they're like, go get him, Doris. And he goes through, like, the crotch hole <laughs> yeah. that the guy has, and they hits him. And I'm like, that rat would not. No, actually, no, you can't train rats. You can. That kid's not training a rat. A Hollywood no, entertainer no, no. who works with animals could train no, a rat. No, that kid no, can't. Regular pet owners can train rats. They're very smart. They only live two years, though. That's the only thing. So, like, I have all this knowledge, and then they're dead. So, rat, rat fact. Thank you for the rat fact, Jeff. You're welcome. <laughs> I always wanted a pet rat. Um, but yeah, to this day, people still kind of shit on this one. And it's one of those, like, again, like, if you had a little kid and you just, like, binge these with them, oh, they haven't, like, a kid today hasn't grown up with the hype around these movies. They probably enjoy all three. I would just show yeah. them one through three. If I, yeah, if yeah, I kids, yeah. I, no, I would not be showing them the later ones. Maybe and I get, I get six, not the I next. Get, six, like, definitely, I'm not showing four or five because I'm no. not sitting through that. Well, no. well let's let's Ever save, let's no! save it for that. We're almost no. There. <laughs> uh, but again, like at least it does have a little bit of the John Hughes touch. It's not one of his better films. Um, I think the setup is good. Like it just makes yeah. sense. Like, and again, the having traps, the editor, the, traps are good. the editor from the previous two, who's now directing, like he has an idea of how to do these films. Yeah. It sucks he didn't get to do it with Joe Pesci and all that. Yeah, but, uh, but that's not like really. The people do a good job. The mm. crooks are funny. Yeah. But the only thing that just takes away from it is like they're so serious at the beginning with like the they're trading off the the chip with that guy. Yeah. And then the, right when they get to neighbor it's like, "Oh, goofy if you on five." And then I uh I don't like the family as much as Kevin's family. No. The two siblings. Like they're not as entertaining. Weird. Yeah, I don't even think he needed siblings. I don't no. get the point other yeah, than he, Kevin had just them. To pick they're like, on they're him like again. he made dad to, miss his I guess so. flight. Yeah. He made him miss his flight. Yeah, I guess they just needed to recycle and some having, stuff. And having him have chicken pox is a good reason for him to be home alone. Yeah, that's not too bad. I, I guess pox. I did like this movie. Not yeah, as I think as, it's your favorite as, movie yeah. of all time. No, 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 no. Not as much as one and two, though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, if you hated this movie originally, I mean, you don't need to watch it, but maybe watch it again. It's not as bad as you I remember. I watch it's this tolerable. one yeah. over others. Yes. But again, you know... It's not Kevin McAllister, but don't worry, they fixed that. No! Oh. In Home Alone 4. No! Taking back the house. No! Oh! I'll read this one. Please, I don't wanna. It's tough being nine. Which, by the way, I think Kevin's like 10, ten. or something in two. Yeah, because he was eight and one. It's also not the same guy. Not yeah. the same kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Tougher still is spending Christmas with dad, Jason Beige, at his new girlfriend Natalie's, Johanna Going, mansion, even though it's loaded with all the techno gadgets any kid could hope for. I hate the key. But this Christmas, Kevin, Michael, <laughs> Michael Weinberg, is in really hot water again, and so are Marv. With, <laughs> <laughs> and his sidekick... Missy, bitch. oh, Mar played by French Stewart, his sidekick played by Missy bitch. Pyle, oh, who are up to no good with funnier and more high tech crime stopping <laughs> wizardry at his disposal, disposal than ever. Funny. Kevin just might finally put these crooks on ice forever. He's gonna kill them <laughs> and keep his parents <laughs> together yeah, while he's at the it butler. in this yeah. uplifting, hilarious comedy. The whole family is sure to love more now, like downlifting, yeah. Down so I'm, down, no. I'm guessing Home Alone 3 didn't do well at the box office. Uh, yeah. I remember seeing a billboard for Home Alone 4 because it was a direct-to-TV It movie. doesn't deserve that. It did not deserve And that. I remember being like, a Home Alone 4? And I remember being like, oh, I guess it's like a new kid. And it's the guy from Third Rock from the Sun. I do like French Stewart. The <laughs> guy who plays Marv in this. Not in this. I like uh, him in, in other in things. He was no, not in this. No, no, brutal. He, I like him in other things. I, I know um, I recognized him. You know what's funny? Like, I actually didn't mind some of his performance in this, but I'm like, that's not how Marv He's should be. He's trying to do no. the voice. Yeah. Hey, uh, And then I, I remember just... it came on TV, and I watched, like, a few minutes of it. Like, it was already, like, well into the movie, and I went, this looks bad. I'm going to be and honest. And then I never watched it. I'm going to be honest. I went into this blind. I didn't even read the, the yeah. synopsis on it, and when they said Kevin McAllister and Buzz, and it's like, I'm like, Okay, so no, I didn't no, know about that until- uh, This is what I hate worse the most about this movie is that they just kept all the same character names but totally different characters. Yeah. And it, that was brutal. 
It's so, fine. Like they they reference the original and they're like, I want to be home alone. And they're like, well, remember how that turned out? I'm like, no, no. That's Which not, would be a funny line kid. if it was Macaulay Culkin, but it's not. And I would expect him to do that with three, but yeah. not four. Yeah, like, four. Why? Four is like, it feels like an apology. It's like, sorry, we did a new kid. Here's everyone from the first two. It's like, yeah, but they're all new actors. Like, it's not the same thing. Here's yeah. the thing. It's a made-for-TV movie. If they had, like, done, like, a made-for-TV version of Home Alone, not even, like, a sequel, yeah, it still would have sucked. But yeah. I would have forgiven it more. Yep. This is unforgivable. The fact that it's, like, bringing Kevin and them back. So, yeah, I turned it off. I didn't realize that it was <laughs> Kevin until a few, few years back. Before he came out to Cinemask or Macaulay Culkin hung out with Red Letter Media... And they made him watch Home Alone 4. So Macaulay Culkin had to watch no. the continuing adventure of Kevin McAllister, which was really cool to see. As that poor guy hasn't been through enough in his life. <laughs> yeah. 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 He doesn't deserve it. Um, yeah, that is the most bizarre thing. And I actually like the actor who plays the dad. Oh, yeah. Not in this. Um, and actually, the director of this, he did uh, two films here. Uh, Teen Wolf with Michael J. Fox. Oh. That's a classic. Everyone likes that one. I also did K9 with Jim Belushi. Not even the good Belushi. The one where <laughs> he's the cop with the dog. Did you ever see K9? No. Mm-hmm. Not to be confused with Top Dog, the one with Chuck Norris and a dog. <laughs> a lot of dog cop movies. Oh. There's a movie called Cop Dog. Wow. It's about a ghost. The dog's Wait? a ghost. Yeah. No, what? <laughs> There's other channels that covered that. Um I don't like that. So yeah, this this is bad. No, no, this no, is no, really no, bad. No, Let, no, let's no, talk no. about Michael it's Weinberg cool. as Kevin McAllister. You! Hello, Marv. He looks nothing like Kevin. He no. acts nothing like Kevin. No. When I saw the picture, like, they look like he made his eyes bigger in, like, the poster for it, where he's like, and I'm like, I don't. He has a really punchable face. Was he that does. just me? He, does. <laughs> he has a really punchable face. Oh, my face. God, he yeah. does. And he's like, at the beginning, he's like, oh, I want to spend time with mom. And then yeah. Buzz. Not even like tortures him. He's just like being annoying, and that just is enough for Kevin. Uh, I hate saying that to be like, yeah. I'm going to my dad. Yeah, he. House. By the way, he, yeah, he yeah. just abandons. Oh my god. Yeah, he abandons them. He gets on a cab and goes to his he dad. He defends and then, his mom and then throws that right out the window. And goes to a cab and he's yeah. like, No, yeah. I like this rich people. He doesn't yeah. like Natalie. I don't like. And there's dad just abandoned him, which Natalie was very nice to him. But like, okay, he was like. Over the top. Oh, now yeah. it was nice up until the end where there was just like that big like, that, if you get in my way, yeah. I will that was, kill that you. That was like, okay, so what he did to her house. Yeah. I mean, true. I, but would, like, I the way that kid like, either. But like the way like she just switched and then she's like, oh, but to, to her fiance, we're like, oh. Yeah, they try to make her a bad guy she's too so late nice into the movie. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh. And then like even when it's revealed that it wasn't Kevin's fault at the end of the movie, the dad's like, I'm going to get back with my real wife. Like, it's really mean to that character. Like, she I didn't know that there were burglars. She didn't believe the kid. Once it's revealed, you could have worked it out. Yeah. yeah, and she didn't know that her and, staff was behind it. And, yeah. And, oh, side note, when she went to pick up, like, the, the queen and the prince of England. Oh, yeah. And the prince talks. It Play a clip of that. That is so dubbed over by, like, an older woman. She's <laughs> like, oh, yes, I am the prince. And, yeah. And like, Can we go to Ridley Field and the aquarium? Do you have any kids? Peter McAllister, he's left his wife. Well, they split up. Yeah. He didn't, like, abandon them. Like, they're going through a divorce, and he's got a new girlfriend. Eight months in, he's like... Eight months in, he's got a new girlfriend, uh, and she's, like, rich and has a really nice house and everything. With I hate... Oh, sorry, no. I hate, I hate the key. Because every time... Door open. Oh, God, yeah. Fire on. Do this. This is the thing. So it's, it's Prescott. A- it, Molly. It's a high tech yeah. smart house that can do anything, but they're always using it for like, like door open, but just they're standing the in front knob. of the door. <laughs> yeah. Just turn the fucking door knob. Yeah, I'm, the dad, I'm sure the dad wasn't there because he really loved that lady. No, he yeah. he, 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 he does say, he's like, look, yeah, me and like, your mom got together when we were really young and we pumped out a lot of kids. And I didn't really get to live a little. He just needs to. So, he just needs to whore around, I guess. Yeah. How many just, siblings does he have in the in the original movie? I think he has two. He has like a brother and a sister because who are in this. Oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say I'm like I yeah. They had three. Um. Cars. So yeah, the dad left the mom because he just didn't, you know, get to plow enough ladies in college, I guess. Uh, and then like, <laughs> and this dad's act out here acting like Uncle Frank, just smooching off. His yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
And, you know, the mom could go out and date. I don't know why. She wasn't bad looking. She's being all. And they're watching. He keeps watching the VHS tape. And then the mom later on watches it. And she's like, I miss my husband. Oh, God. That was the weird thing when the dad. I'm sorry. Now I'm criticizing the dad. The dad, like, <laughs> throughout the film is just like, why isn't my new girlfriend just like my wife? It's like, well, didn't you leave your wife? What and is yeah, your and then, issue? And then his wife comes over and they're just like, remember this time? And Natalie's like, I fucking hate this. <laughs> <laughs> that must have been so awkward for her. Yeah. It's just like, you can see, like, there's still a connection. She's just like, yeah. And then, like, her butler turns on her, like, oh, yeah, if you want, if you were stuck with that bitch, it was nice <laughs> seeing her hyper. Oh, okay. Like, I like, I like Eric Avari, the guy who plays the butler. I liked him. Mr. Prescott. But there's one scene where I went, oh, you got to be fucking kidding me, when they're locked in the cellar. Yeah. And they're like, who could we call? Like, oh, I don't know. And then he goes, I do have a cell phone, though. Perfect, man. Wait, you had a cell phone this whole time? You just yeah, been they don't sitting even call there? the police. They call his They call mother. his mom, and then the phone dies. Yeah. And then Buzz is like, all right. Again. twice. I'm like, what the The fuck? other ones were ridiculous, but they, like, made an effort to trick you into believing. Doesn't even call Like, the these scenarios could happen. This one, I'm like, no, that was just, this is dumb. The one thing that does make sense is, like, that Marv and him recognize each other, which is weird because they're not the same person. Mm -hmm. So how would they recognize <laughs> each other? Anyway. Yeah, exactly. um, but... <laughs> Ke I, I will say it makes sense why Kevin's like taking care of like Marv on his own because mm. he's done it before but at the same time I mean I guess Kevin didn't really call the police for but like I don't know it's so uh, wait, wait, wait. stupid if you're gonna he floats the house yeah if you're gonna recast everyone why not just get a new Harry it's why give Marv a, a wife a girlfriend it's yeah. bizarre and it, did it bother you guys that what you call it? They Marv up, is dressed like Harry. They bring yeah, up Harry and they're like, don't bring him up. I yeah. don't want to talk about him. It's like, all right, geez. Oh, they my definitely God. were lovers in jail. And, and like <laughs> you and like you said, uh, there is an inside man. And it turns out it's an inside woman. <laughs> yes, it's I, I will admit I did think it was Prescott until I like, thought it was Prescott. Until, yeah, he, like until he said he had a mom, and I'm like, oh, it's it's well, yeah, they yeah, so it's like the lady who works there. Because earlier she's like, Oh yeah, I have a son. He's yeah, a little yeah. They did. They did get me with the uh, butler. I really yeah, I, I did that until like later. And they're like inside man, and I remember like, oh, there's two people. It's definitely gonna be like a bait and switch. So I'm gonna think it's her. Yeah, and I was right. So I felt so good about myself. It's Marv's mom. He's like, hi, mom. Yeah. He does. <laughs> he does like a weird mouth. He's, like yeah, he was his so... mouth looks weird when he talks. Like he's trying his best to be wrong. He's like, hi, mom. <laughs> hi, mom. <laughs> it was just over the That's top of the mom. mannerisms and yeah. You're That's stupid. my dumb vlog. I mean, wife again, bitch. that is a little bit like French Stewart. I loved him in Third Rock from the Sun. Uh, you ever watch that show? No. Oh, it's the aliens who come to Earth and they're trying to blend in with society and they're just like screwing up things all the time. He was like the funniest guy on that show. I, that's hard to believe after watching him in that. <laughs> he was so annoying. Yeah, I don't, you know, he hasn't really done a lot really, afterwards. Yeah, because so. they probably watched that movie and they're like, nah, we're not kidding. <laughs> when it comes to these kind of movies, I never really blame the actors. I blame like the yeah. stuff they're yeah. giving. Well, his, his wife, Missy Pyle, she was in a lot of stuff after this, too. She's in a bunch of Tim yeah. Burton movies, like, like they're, Big Fish and They're whatnot. not really to be blamed. They're just not it's that funny in this. It's the people who came yeah. up with this movie who were like, let's bring back Kevin. Yeah. But not Macaulay Culkin, because we hate people. Yeah, and then the traps, like, suck in this. Are they even? I don't remember the traps. I feel like the traps were so quick. They were just very brief. They didn't really touch on them. It was... Like, I, I don't even remember them. Yeah. I don't remember them. Like, was there a trap? The only trap out. I remember was when he flooded the house. Yeah, he, he floods the house. That he does makes the me thing. so mad I about the movie. I want to point out that I was yeah. sober watching this one. Yeah. Wait, he floods it's, the house. There's no way you just flood the house. I don't care how that rich this lady is. That shower system could put a hole in your body. <laughs> <laughs> that goes, water pressure was amazing. I would love that water pressure. <laughs> but there's no way you flood that whole house. I don't care how just, rich you are. And then you just fix it in a day. Yeah. The next day, it was just totally fine. Well, it's a magic house. There's no mold or anything. Oh well, they, yeah, they grabbed they grabbed their thing and they went clean house. Yeah, clean the house, no, drain the water. He's like, well, it was worth a try. And then Natalie walks in, she's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I hate this. This is worse. Um, yeah, this well, one. And she was still nice to him after that. Well, yeah, she she's was like, it's okay. Like, it, I, it's, it's all right. I really didn't like that. Like, they just like, I don't like you. Yeah, 10, 15 minutes before the movie's done, they're like, she's the bad guy now. And I'm like, she's, no, she uh, was a good guy. One, yeah. yeah. Because anyone fought in my house like that, kid or not. Yeah. I don't care. You're I out. Admit, Sorry. I will admit, I was annoyed with her because they did, which, but when they're like, they're like, let's trim the tree and they do all that. 
which that was an annoying scene because they're just dancing in front of the tree like this. Yeah, yeah. For like that was too cringy. long. But then the next day, they're like, what happened to our tree? And she's like, oh, I didn't call the tree cutting service, the tree decorating service. And I'm like, all right, that's a bitch thing to do. Oh, yeah, she like totally undoes their decorations. Like, you could have just kept that and myself. put the other tree in a new room or something. And then I got mad at myself for being invested in that scene. I'm like, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, Kevin's dad is really the bad guy, yeah. okay? He's, he's like, jumping oh. into a marriage. But he's like getting annoyed at all their little yeah, differences. Yeah, just his wife and kids. Just smooch off some oh, rich girl, some yeah. young, like good-looking rich girl. Yeah, and then just leaves her. Yeah, he yeah. gets real picky. It's like, dude, like, come on, you got to work a little bit at this, or just get. But realistically, he'd be like, you know what, this one's not working out. I'm gonna find another girl. Like instead, he's like, I'm going back to my wife. And everyone's like, yay! <laughs> I hate at the end of the movie where he's like, <laughs> Prescott's like, music on, and he passes the Kevin. He's like, snow fall, and it snows. I'm like, there's no way that remote works. Wait, God, where did the snow come that from? From God, <laughs> because this movie is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, this one was. I never watched it all the way through until recently. This one was hard to get through. It makes Kevin McCall it gives Kevin McAllister's a bad name. It really and it really breaks the Home Alone lore. I don't like that the parents are broken up. I I, I don't like the whole Marv getting a wife and everything. I don't like it at all. Mm -mm. I feel bad for poor Eric and Avari being in this. The most embarrassing thing is you're just sitting me you're sitting here. You're asking me if I've seen all these movies. Some of them are really good. Some of them are not that good. And I just say no because I've never seen that many movies. <laughs> and then someone ever asked me if I've seen Home Alone 4 or 5, <laughs> even 3, <laughs> even 6 that people don't even know about. I have to say yeah. And like, oh, well, did you ever see like Pulp Fiction or something big like that? Rambo you asked me about yeah. earlier. I'm just like, no. But I've seen Home Alone 4 and 5. <laughs> I've seen Home and Alone six. 4. And they're like, wait, there's a Home Alone 4, 5, 6. I'm like, oh. That is funny. Because yeah. I think you even said the same thing when I brought this up. I'm like, yeah, we got to do the worst Home Alone. And you're like, oh, it's definitely 3. I'm like, oh, do you not know there's more? And you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> my, so that's why I told my family. Yeah. They were like, oh, there's only 3, right? I'm like, there's 6. And they're like, why? And I'm like, because God hates us. <laughs> yeah, I think the second, I think this one went on like, Fox or something. I think the second one's like oh, ABC. Of course it was the, Fox. I mean, the next one is like an ABC Family movie. It was either Fox or NBC because they do those stupid whatever. Yeah, I thought it was Disney for, um, for a second, but I'm mistaken. Also, who played Kevin better, me or this <laughs> kid? I was gonna say, like, what kind of idiot would try to replace Kevin McAllister with someone? Me, I got Jess to play Kevin last year in the Die Hard one. I uh, Jess, I think you did a better job than this. Thanks. Kid. <laughs> That's rough. I got lost in New York once. Now, if this had just been a new kid, I don't think we'd hate it as much. Yeah. It would be forgettable. It would still suck. Yeah. But, it's like, just it's like... just the fact that it is all new actors, like, that, it just it adds that uh, extra level of hate to it. I just remember yeah. there's, like, a, the scene where he gets breakfast. It just, I, I had to, like, get up and, like, stand <laughs> in my kitchen. Because he's, like, Molly's bringing him, I think it was Molly? I forget. She's bringing him breakfast, and he's just in bed, like. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I, need I to would, leave. I would rather watch Water Boil next time than watch this movie again. <laughs> I'd rather Water watch Boil literal. would be more fun. Yeah, I'd rather watch. Actually, I would watch this over Transformers Four. <laughs> oh God! Because you hate that movie. So because <laughs> this movie's shorter. <laughs> That's true. It is short. At least they're short. Okay. Transformers Four sucks. It's funny. I have been cooking more, and so I have had to watch like Water Boil, yeah. and it is more entertaining than this film. I'll it is. It <laughs> we just because I keep telling about the Chronicles over my mom's new kitchen. Oh my God! <laughs> the yeah, water... on the creep up the show that she's on, there was like a month stretch where we all had to get Jess kitchen updates. Well, because it was. <laughs> So fucking loud they were just like burn, burn, burn. yeah jess is calling into the show you hear like drills and stuff going <laughs> the back it's great jess <laughs> it, oh. but either way our, our uh my mom not ours my mom's yeah. new stove boils uh, very fast and also i messed up one time by heating up some pasta sauce without the lid on let me just say i wasn't expecting it to <laughs> splatter everywhere that's okay i burn rice all the time i always forget to switch it to low yeah, but and I'm like, what's yeah, on fire? Yeah, it must yeah, be a Peluso thing. <laughs> you know what's funny? It's just rice that I do it with. I don't do it with anything. Oh, Nicole overcooks everything. Cooker? Really? A chicken, a burnt rice. Wait, how do you know? How do you know what my sister overcooks, Prison Mike? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> also, can I just say, talking about this is more entertaining than this fucking. I love the way you yeah. just went into a cooking. Rant. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it is. Cool. I'd rather talk about this. You know what's funny? This movie and the next. Me, me burning the rice twice was funnier than this whole fucking movie. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, definitely. 
Oh my god. So yeah, I guess I'd rather was, clean out that burnt water rice on the pot microwave. than watch this movie. <laughs> I'd rather watch paint dry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. paint dry. Then watch this um, and Transformers. So yeah, uh, this one I guess did he do it for a lot of people, and they were like in 2012, they're like, okay, we're gonna try one more time. Don't. Hey, I'll give this movie this next one credit. It's not. I didn't name him Kevin. <laughs> yeah, and that's where we get Home Alone: The Holiday Heist. Ugh. Prison Mike, can you read this? In this hilarious tale for all ages, 10-year-old Finn Baxter, Christian Martin, thinks his family new, family's new house in Maine is haunted. But the truth might be even scarier. I forgot about that. A trio of thieves led by Malcolm McDowell is after a priceless painting hidden in a secret room by the previous owner. So when Finn and his sister, Jodell Ferlin, find themselves home alone... Oh. Finn rigs up an elaborate array of techno gadgets and booby traps to protect his pad from the bumbling criminals this time, trying to break in. It's delightful comedy caper that will steal your heart again and again. Why do they have to add alliteration to everyone? Also, I, mine was bumbling bad guys. Yeah, bumbling bandits, bumbling bad guys, <laughs> bumbling criminals. Well, which, I, I, I guess I, they couldn't fi- find another B word. <laughs> <laughs> they had it like, all right, what's the next letter? Bumbling, C. Bumbling so we'll just bitches. do criminals. Yeah. Yeah. I'm bumbling glad, bitches. Yeah, bumbling I'm glad bitches. you said again and again because I had to watch this twice. I oh, watched this. Uh, bumbling buttheads. Anything. Drinking. <laughs> yeah. Because well, I was so fed up with doing this. Well, I watched it. This video does not get a million views. <laughs> I'm deleting Tony's Patreon. Please, please, please watch this video. The last, I'm two, episodes, deleting the last it. two episodes didn't do that well. I am I deleting know, it. I don't know why I thought a talking animal video would do super well, but uh, I liked it, it didn't. I li- because I like Space Cat. Where yeah. is that? Space Cat ball? and Two Stray Dogs. Yeah. <laughs> Directed by Peter Hewitt, who did Bill and Ted 2. Thunderpants, which is actually not Whoa. that bad of a film, and the Garfield movie. Wait, Bill, one... Bill and Ted are Keanu Reeves, right? Yes. Every time I think of Dracula, the... the... Oh, yeah. Whoa! Because you added me to add uh, the woes yeah. in there. Every time I think of it, I'm in, like, I watch a scene from that movie, I'm expecting to see the woe. I just did a good job with editing. <laughs> yeah, you're a great editor, Jess. Yeah, thanks. Follow Jess to get your editing needs. Um, yeah, and what? he also did Garfield <laughs> with uh, Bill Murray, the Both live action... Uh, at least the first one. Well, the other one was like. I might bring Space Cat back for that one. That'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> again, never seen any of these movies you guys are talking about, but I seen Home Alone four and five. Yay! <laughs> Bill and Ted two is pretty good. Uh, don't know about three. Still haven't seen it. Um, I found out it was about their daughters, and I went, "No, thank you." Woke. Um, yes, woke. I, I did not like- expect malcolm mcdowell to be in this although i should because as good of an actor as he is he's been in amazing films and he's also been in a ton I of garbage I like him. home alone like the home alone by- heist also he- known as home alone five yes he was in malcolm mcdowell was in the second silent hill movie but the sister played by joe del ferlin is the girl from the first silent hill movie so this is the first thing I've seen that girl in that's not a horror movie. She's mostly in horror films. Like, she was fine in this. She was like the stereotypical for like, there was like a stretch of like four or five years where she was like the scary girl in like every horror movie. Uh, mostly Silent Hill. She was in um, Cabin in the Woods. She's like the main girl who like kills Sigourney Weaver at the end. Oh, yeah. So seeing her. her in a family friendly movie like was bizarre to me. I'm like, I'm not used to this. Can I be honest? Um, when I saw the poster for this, I thought the main character was a girl. I'm shocked they haven't pulled the trigger on that idea yet. He's too woke. They won't do it. No, <laughs> yeah. I honestly thought it was a girl because, like, he's doing this. Yeah. And I thought he had Well, we hair. looked up what that kid looks like now. Uh, yeah. That guy it's is shredded. Shredded. That guy is shredded. But well, he still does have, like, that same stupid how, how face. He still has the dumb face, but he is shredded. How old yeah. is he? Uh, probably around your age, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, like, the guy's got a great body. He probably pick up any chick. But once you... <laughs> He tells them that they were in Home Alone Holiday Heist. It's that. Yeah, he'd be like, yeah, just hey, I'm the, kid, out. Just, I'm the kid from Home Alone. Yeah. They'd be like, obviously not Macaulay Culkin. They'd be like, the third one? He'd be like, no, the f- the fifth one. Honestly, I would it's forgive like, him. I would I was, forgive well, I would, him. I would I'm in Home Alone 5, but look at my abs. Like, yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> I'd hate to be the kid from the fourth one where he's just like, yeah, I was Kevin in Home Alone. And they look at him, he's like, four. <laughs> like, that doesn't <laughs> count. <laughs> No, I would forgive him because at least he's not Kevin. Yeah, and also, like, he's probably ripped and he could lift me up oh, and throw me. So as I he said, said he be- could pick up chicks, so I <laughs> throw him. Oh, um, like I said before, I was I was watching this while building furniture. And then I was hanging out with my good friend, Prison Mike, who hadn't watched it for the episode yet. So I had to watch it again. I'm so sorry. Hey, you had to watch Final <laughs> Fantasy Freddy's twice. 
That's true. I had to watch Five Nights at Freddy's. Did you like 20. that more than this? Yes, I like that more than this. Woo! I did enjoy Malcolm McDowell. I like Malcolm McDowell even in bad movies. So also, this one has more like cuts, like cuts to black because of commercials. Oh yeah, that's funny. Even in the Disney Plus version, they still have the commercial, that annoyed like the, the fade to black for commercial. <laughs> um, also, I was drinking. I had three <laughs> vodka soda. It wasn't that bad. I mean, I don't know. No. Um, no, but after having watched four, I was just prepared. And a uh, fun thing, like we said, those two were in Silent Hill movies. Debbie Mazur was also in uh, Goodfellas, just like Joe Pesci. Ah. She's the guy. She's the girl that uh, Ray Liotta is cheating on his wife with. Huh. Um, I don't know how the hell she ended up in this film. Like, I felt bad yes. for her in this. She's one of the bad guys. And her whole gimmick is that oh, her that boyfriend is arrested. And she feels sad, and she cries about it the whole time. I'm like, that's a waste of Debbie Mazur. <laughs> I hate the kid in this. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Uh, my favorite character in this was the guy who they called. Um, oh, the gamer? Yeah. Oh, because yeah. he was actually trying to help. I, I'm surprised. You and don't... everyone, like, it was like, get away from my kid! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so and Finn, gets pepper spray. So Finn in this movie, he's afraid of the outside world. He only loves video games. You know, his and neighbor's he, like, snow's cool. Yeah, he has a neighbor who's like real into snow. Because uh, they, they recently moved well, to Maine. I also didn't know if that was a boy or a girl. That, I think that was a little boy. It was a little you boy, think. but like for a moment we thought we the maybe, reveal. Maybe they're non-binary. <laughs> That's, I think it was before that. Maybe movie it was, took well, it's like at the end of It's Pat where you're like, oh, I'm finally going to figure out if it's a boy or a girl. <laughs> look, and then you still kid, don't know. Because they was still, somebody that's also you don't know. That kid was very young. He could have been whatever he wanted to be. <laughs> I was going to call him a kid. Was, because was he's a, either a boy or a girl. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. What but he was was a kid. snow file. Because he's like, he I really loves snow. snow. By the way, he how. He do anything with snow. Pr snow, 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 Pr fucking snow. Chris and Mike, uh, what did you think of the snow budget on this? Do you think they had real convincing snow? I thought it was snow good. <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. It oh, like good. it looks like styrofoam. It doesn't look like snow at all. I yet. was. It was just like white drinking, cardboard. So I didn't think anything of it. <laughs> okay. And so when did this movie come out? 2012, I think. 2012. Okay. So they just totally ripped off the elf with the snowball, throwing the snowballs when the little kid was just yeah. winging the snowballs at the bad guys. That or even, cool. or even it reminded back, me of Elf. Uh, uh, Jack Frost, the not the killer one, which I love. I love the killer one. The Michael Keaton one, yeah, where he like he uses his arms to throw all the snowballs. Oh uh, yeah, I like the killer one. He's like, the I killer like one's great. I love them standing. The second, in the, front the second of those. killer one's good too. Yeah. Both those movies are solid. So yeah, like I said, the kid is like an annoying gamer. And that's his whole personality trait. I'm an annoying gamer. Just can't. Okay. Yeah, you're not as annoying as this kid. I'm an annoying reader. You, you're almost as annoying as this kid, but not quite there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Check out the creep. And off. his sister is like typical teenage girl, like doesn't want to talk to anyone. She's really she, mean. She yeah. had a bedazzled phone case. Yeah. And I used to have those when I was younger around yeah. that time. And I just cringed because I'm like, <laughs> those were not comfortable to hold. But uh, more annoying than the kids are the parents. I oh, hate yeah. I hate the dad in this. La -la -dee da la dee da. I would I would hate the mom because she was just like I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna take your phone. I hate it. I give you your phone back for that. Wait, no, 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 wait. That was the only funny bit when she's like, "We're not, we're taking the phone." The dad's like, "No, they probably need a phone that for emergency." That, that, that was like the one funny. But she kept walking away and then coming back, and I was like, "Okay." Why was the dad such an idiot? But the one scene I just remember like came to mind was when he went in the basement. He's like, "See, there's nothing down here." And yeah. He goes basically. Like, but then he doesn't know how to use the snowblower, and he's, like, falling and whatnot. Yeah, he's well, he's from Cal California, I think. Yeah, but did but, he have to be that stupid? Like, none of the other dads were that stupid. What's funny is that, like, he's doing such a bad job, and then it cuts to him done, and then it's, like, perfectly shoveled and, like, yeah. plowed, and I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> like, so the bad guys want to get into a vault that was owned by a mobster uh, because there's riches in there. But then you find out that, that that's not the case. Malcolm McDowell's... Fucking grandmother left a very famous paint or it's a, by edward monks there's a very <laughs> famous painting of malcolm mcdowell's uh grandmother in there and that's what he really wants and there's like a whole secret room and the painting like, was awful yeah the painting wasn't oh, that like, good oh it's beautiful and i'm yeah. like is, is it? <laughs> it's a masterpiece is it but it's, it's like a ugly. safe that leads into a fake room because i guess they were bootleggers back in the day 
Um, a little complicated, but at least it's not like super spies wanting to get military computer chips. It's <laughs> yeah. not that ridiculous. Put into a fucking car. Just put in your damn pocket. <laughs> Um, oh, what I was going to say, the sister, she's like real mean to the parents. Like, yeah, she's the, like, Neh. Well, the, the, the dad is annoying. like, you want to help dad with this? And she's like, I'd rather die. I'm like, oh, that's rough. And he's like, all right. Well, yeah, that's how I feel about this movie. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I just, I mean, the rest of the movie isn't too bad, but the main kid is just not likable at mm-hmm. all. He's not yeah. relatable. He's not likable. Uh, the only time he's really nice to anyone is the guy that he's talking to, yeah. the gamer, which I'm shocked you didn't recognize the person playing the gamer. Who was it? You're probably not used to seeing him with hair, but that's our good friend Vito Giswaldi. That was him. <laughs> was well, it really? Yeah, you met Vito at the live show. That was not him. Yeah, that was him. That's Vito. I'm looking at it here. Vito Giswaldi. He doesn't like to talk about his acting <laughs> career. So when he first moved out to LA, he acted for a little bit. I don't so there are like a few good moments in this. Like the, I do like the moment where like so the kid didn't call anyone no, about the criminals. No, he didn't call the police, and the guy's like, "You have you're by yourself. You have to call the police." And he's like, "No." Wait, wait, Why okay. would I do that? Yeah, and then the guy's like, "I hacked in to your credit card, and I'm calling you about your son." And she's like, "What?" And that she, whole like, scene is yeah. very funny. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. "That came out wrong." <laughs> and then the cops come and they pepper spray him like. That could have worked sitting, in a better film. And then they're all sitting on his couch yeah. watching the footage. Did they hack into the footage? I guess so. Okay, so the weird and thing. And they're like FaceTiming. <laughs> yeah, the weird. Yeah, the, the cops are all eating Chinese. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then they're, yeah, yeah, they cheer when they got right. caught. Yeah, that's like the only. Like, there are parts of this are like, this could have been something. It but um, been... so they keep. They go all in on this whole thing where like the kid thinks that there's a ghost in the house. And the movie thinks that's like funnier than it is. And it's not because that kid's a little too old to be thinking about ghosts that seriously. Oh, I would even now. Yeah. Also, his character's inconsistent. So as soon as he like stops being able to play video games, he suddenly turns into Kevin McAllister. He's sliding down the stairs. Yeah. He's like dancing and breaking things. Yeah, and I'm like, where he... did the, where did this shift come from? The traps were like. Forced, in my opinion. Yeah, like, the trap like, um, sucked. Well, you down. pointed out a problem oh with the one, the uh, snow, the snow, uh, snow blower with the marbles. Oh yeah, yeah. The, uh, I guess. Oh yeah. What kind of like on the video? Like it was just it wasn't even hitting him in the face. Yeah. Like, they weren't like it was bad. It was yeah, bad they were like, like CGI balls, <laughs> but like yeah, they the, were. They, they were, were like, so bad. None of them ac- actually hit Damn. him. Like we yeah. we watched then, like. He yeah. had all the marks all over his face, which they should have all hit him. But while it was happening, none of them were bouncing off his face at all. Yeah, yeah, but like the CGI, I remember that. I remember sitting there. I that was rough, tipsy, um, and just being like, "That's awful." But yeah, but the kids all hung up on the ghost, and as soon as he finds out it's like real people, he's like, "Oh, never mind, we're good." Like yeah. he suddenly can handle it. It's like, yeah. but then he the? makes himself the ghost because the two of the crooks are like, "It's a ghost." Yeah, the other crooks Wee! also believe in ghosts. It's so they stupid. turn the one girl into the. Rudolph. Yeah, that was dumb. And then her hair deflates. I'm like, what was the fucking point of that? Like, and then the weird thing is, so they trap the sister. Well, the tra- sister gets trapped in the secret room. The yeah. So he's not even really home this. alone. He's just alone taking care of the criminals. Actually, it would have been different if it was both kids home alone, like trying to trap them. But yeah, I guess that, that would be fun. But the sister, was, then she reads War and Peace because. She said she she's like reading. Oh, yeah, that gag where she's like, all right, I read a magazine. Like, oh it's not God. War and Peace. Then she actually reads War and Peace. The, the whole Home Alone thing doesn't really happen till way late into the film. No. The parents leave for a party. They dug Ed, Ed Asner out for this movie. They, I felt bad for that, for they, him. They have that gag where the, he thinks the, the dad is his butler. And he's like, oh, he passed away. I'm like, what's the fucking point of this? Yeah, I don't get the Ed Asner character. He, it seems like he has dementia, and I kind of feel bad for him in this. And he's like, well, he's like, no one will be able to get down. And they're like, we have to get down. He's like, well, everybody else can't get down except for you. You get the yeah, snow I, plow. He's I like, never felt fuck? like the kid was in danger. By the way, he walks into town when he knows that the burglars are coming mm-hmm. and that no, his no, sister's no. trapped. He doesn't, he doesn't go into town. He does it too late for, like, Helping his sister get out. Oh, that's right. Yeah. But, well, either, um, but no, he, no. Then he hears the burglar. He, he hears the burglar, and then he runs back just with a thing of string, and he talks to the guy over the phone, or over the thing. But why doesn't he just call the cops? 
because he's stupid. That was so. I was so annoyed that he was able to just walk into town with no problem. Um, that's why I hated this because I'm like he could have called like the, that's why I like the gamer dude because he's like you should have called the like everybody's telling him you should have called the cops like his sister's saying that and he's like I sorry. already got him I'm sorry I can't relate to the gamer guy like wanting to help children on no a game. that's not even realistic and that's why I like no it. I was I was telling Prison Mike I'm like every like eight year old I talked to when I was playing Friday the Thirteenth online I just cursed out because those sons of bitches would always leave me behind to get killed <laughs> yeah when there were plenty there was plenty of time for me that's to get in that do. fucking car or on that boat Kids I, are I bastards, just yelled at no so offense. I yelled at so many children so when you I was wanna, you want to help that any of them out they were home alone no no if they I'll be like you know what fuck like, you remember you left when me. you left me behind <laughs> sorry kid yeah. I, lo I love how like the series evolved with like who's gonna help the kid where it's just like the old man with the shovel the homeless lady the parrot the butler and now we're like <laughs> the, the fat gamer who lives across the country <laughs> well i guess the old lady no the old lady who doesn't the have parent. a job or anything the yeah parent, the butler <laughs> oh yeah he's bragging about how he's uh home alone and it's awesome on christmas and then, but then they make it sad at the end like we're gonna get you a plane ticket to fly home here and he's like wow thanks well he's listen like, you listen didn't want to see your parents no i had to spend christmas home alone last year i was sick and let me tell you i got to wake up whenever i want it I had to watch whatever I wanted. I played video games and I'm going to tell you, it was really great. I mean, terrible. It was really terrible not being with my family on Christmas last year. Man, and that sucks. Prison Mike, I don't know if you know this, but uh, my sister is an adult and thinks we still need to wake up at like 8 a.m. to open up presents. No, I have my no family idea. has to do yeah. this year. You know, look, even if it's a good present and then she wants to take like pictures and stuff too, you know how hard it is to be like, oh, great. Sweatpants. My, my family yeah. has, like it's just like, can we do this at twelve when I have we're to do awake? That this year, because the Eagles are playing on Christmas Day, so we have to get dinner ready early enough. Yeah, well, that All that's reasonable. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. So anyway, thank God um, my mom has a new kitchen. This movie sucks. Yeah. Uh, eventually, they like rescue the painting. The bad guys get caught, and it's Edward Monk's a scream, and they they just get like passes to the. Yeah, I do like they're like, yeah, we got passes to the museum. And thirty thousand dollars for catching the crooks. And the movie so the movie ends on like a really I really like the ending because it's like a happy note. Yeah. And then that just sucks right away because they just it ends with like they're taking their mug shot. Like that like it, it just shows the two kids they're like, Oh, he has a friend, he's playing the real world. And yeah. it just cuts to the they're like taking the mug shots. And then it ends. I'm like, really? That's I didn't mind that too much. It is weird that they're like, we got thirty thousand dollars, but we were looking at that house. I'm like, I don't know what you do, lady, but you, I don't think that's like anything to you. Like that <laughs> seems like very little money for you guys. <laughs> Garbage. 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 Uh, it's, it's tough to say which one was worse, four or five. <laughs> well, we're we're not at that point yet because mm -hmm. we still got one last one right now. No. I'll just compare these two. A few uh, years ago, a few years ago, they I announced. It was last year. Uh, I think it was 2021. But they announced that they were going to do a Home Alone reboot. And I think after we hung out with Mac, I hung out with Mac, by the way. I might have brought it up a couple times. Did you hang out with Mac? Yeah, I did. After we did that, he did that Google Home commercial that went like super viral and whatnot. I like that one. That was a good commercial. Yeah, where he's like recreating all the scenes, but now he's older and his like back hurts. That was fun. So I know. Have you seen the Catherine O'Hara commercial where she's like, Kevin? But then it's Kevin Hart. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I saw that one. That one, I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny. So I'm guessing that, like, brought up enough interest in the Home Alone brand because everyone was talking about that commercial. Well, and I, then... wasn't, I wouldn't say I was begging. I'm like, oh, after that commercial, I need a movie. No, because, <laughs> like, you're a sane person yeah. uh, and you make good decisions I wouldn't most say of the I'm time. I sane, but I'm, <laughs> when it but comes to that department, yeah. They announced, like, this is after Disney bought Fox. They were like, yeah, we're doing a Home Alone reboot. Fuck you, Disney. And the only funny thing to come out of it was the picture Macaulay Culkin took where he's on his couch with like his beer gut out, like with like food looking miserable. He's like, this is the home alone reboot. food. Oh my God, that's pretty good. But nope, they did home sweet home alone. There's no place like home for the holiday. Uh, straight to Disney plus. I did not see this movie when it came out. I had oh, no. I thought you were gonna say you did not see this. I'm like, no, you I saw. Mean to tell me, I <laughs> no, I watched watch it with I watched it with Prison Mike. We wow. watched. We did a double feature of Home Alone five and six. I'm, that's what yeah. I did last night. <laughs> it sucked. Um, yeah. Uh, did not watch it when it came out. I was never going to watch it. Thanks, patrons. Thanks Thank so you. much. I hate it. It looked like shit. I mean, Disney Plus isn't like known for quality most of the time. 
Uh, it's directed by Dan Mazur, who was the writer for Borat and Bruno. Wow. I don't, Could have written something better. He didn't write this one. But Mikey I, Day helped with this movie. I don't know who Mikey Day he's is. He's from SNL. That's not a good sign. No. I don't know who Streeter like Seidel is. I like Mikey Day, though. And I, when I saw that he was part of this, I'm like, all right, dude. I do think there's a few Saturday Night Live people in sprinkled in this, I think. Well, yeah, one of them, Keenan. Jesus. Uh, oh, Keenan Thompson's in this for he's a second. He's in everything. He's in that new Trolls movie. But yeah. also had my girl Aaron in this. From the office. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, that was great casting. Ellie Kemper. Play? Ellie Kemper is the uh, one of the burglars. Yeah. Oh, okay. One of the burglars. Um, one of the bad guys. He I... wasn't really a bad guy. Yeah. No, like Rob oh. Delancey is her husband. Alison Aisling B is like the Irish actress who has a British son. That's a little confusing. But then it has big comedic actors like Andy Daly's in this. I kept forgetting he was in this movie. Keenan Thompson, obviously. Uh, it has, like, Pete Holmes, who I love, and I kind of wish he was the burglar guy, because he's way yeah, funnier. He who is he burglar. in this? He's, like, the, he's basically this version of Uncle Frank. Okay, that's he was what the I thought. He's not was. the annoying one with the with the Asian wife. That was what's-his-face. Tim Simmons. That was yeah, Tim yeah. Simmons. At least yeah. he was, like, at least nice with, like, yeah. the kid. He, wasn't, he was just, like, trying to one-up his brother, but he was nice to his kid. But then it also has, like, Chris Parnell in it. I'm like, there was, like, good comedic actors in this. And they did nothing for me. Yeah. They did nothing for me. The main kid, Archie Yates, is he from Jojo Rabbit? I think yeah. that's I never saw Jojo that movie. Rabbit. I haven't seen it either. I just read that on the Wikipedia. Oh, that's I hope I, I hope he was better in that than he was in this. I don't know. So I, yeah. So yeah, we finally have you seen sat Jojo Rabbit? No. But you have seen <laughs> You have Home seen Home Sweet Home, Home Alone. Yeah. No, Home Alone Four. Yeah, and, and Home Alone Four and Five. And six. And, so yeah. And I watch this, so I people were hyping this up to be like the worst thing ever. Uh, right. Recently, Kaylee, a.k.a. Lucy Tightbox, she was on a show and said it was like the worst Christmas thing ever. And one, it's not the worst Christmas thing ever. I may have said on my Twitter live stream while I was drinking um, <laughs> that, which I deleted because I was like, this is stupid. But um, yeah. <laughs> sorry. But um, yeah. but I was like, this sucks. But compared to the other ones. I bad. honestly think I like this Homo 6 better than just like Home Alone 3. Really? Uh, yeah, I, I was very impressed with this. I mean, it I, wasn't Home Alone 1 or 2 by any means, but it was better than 4 or 5. It had... Oh, and definitely. 3, and 3, way it better. It looked more like a movie than the direct video ones. I mean, it's still Disney Plus post-COVID, so there's not a lot of actors in two... Like, two, not a bunch of actors are all in the same scene. It's, like, limited to I just a few locations. That, yeah. 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 Um, I thought I liked the plot. It was a little... They changed the plot up. They changed a little bit, yeah. How? I The problem is, like, I get you want to be different, so it's like they're not really crooks. They're just down on their luck, and they want to save their house. They right. the upside-down doll head Yeah, guy. so the, the whole, like, the whole MacGuffin. But, I mean, it was theirs. They were entitled yeah. to it, but. Yeah. But it turns out he didn't even steal it. Yeah, well, spoiler. But, yeah, the Why MacGuffin spoiler? is that they, care. um, they're doing an open house. The kid, uh, what's his name, Max? He has sees, to pee. Yeah, he has to pee. He sees the doll that's, like, a disfigured like a misprint it yeah. was like a it's like faulty yeah, one two hundred thousand yeah. dollars yes which actually is a thing there are like toys that are like printed wrong that actually are more rare there's one right now did you hear about the we talked about this in the ninja turtles uh episode did you hear about the controversy with the new ninja turtles movie well uh april oh. o'neill is black in the new movie but the toy company made versions of the character that were white uh-oh <laughs> And like when Kevin told me this, I'm like, wait, did they release this in like another country? Because you know that's a PR disaster. He's like, no, it's in stores in America. I'm like, oh, that's not good. That's not did good. Did you buy any? Huh? Did you buy any? I didn't buy any, but I looked on eBay. Those things are now selling. Well, so yeah, I'm that saying. is. Like... Should, that's why you should have bought it. <laughs> yeah, I should. Oh, I thought you were going on your phone to like see. No. <laughs> oh, I gotta get one. No. Uh, but there are things like that where like you know. That's not okay. <laughs> that is well, really not okay. But the, it, there is like a real world thing where like disfigured or like toys that were like manufactured wrong yeah. actually are more rare. I collect Pokemon cards and like this like I have a I've seen like a few like misprinted cards like. Mm. There's one popular one. I don't know if it's real. Uh, don't judge me if it is. But it's like it's like a what this one Pokemon. It's like I forget what it was. Like Voltorb or Pidgey, which is like a very small one. But then it's like a holographic Mewtwo. Uh, Jess, uh, Pokemon's for children. I don't care. Can we get back to talking about Home Sweet Home? I Lungs? do have a baseball card. It's uh, Cal Ripken's brother. I forget his name. 
but they forgot to edit his bat. The bottom of his bat said fuck face on it. <laughs> and they forgot to totally edit it out. And I was like, oh, this is going to be worth money one day because I got it when I was younger and yeah. it's worth absolutely nothing. <laughs> There's a bunch of them that they just I feel like the, they let slide. A lot of these toys that are in boxes that I've left in boxes for years, like that's going to be worth something one day. Worth nothing. Nothing. I worth mean, nothing. have you, like just I know about baseball card or no basketball card because there's this one card that goes for a lot that's the Mendez brothers um Ooh. they're in like the front row of this one basketball Oh the game. murderers they're yeah. in the card oh, really? oh okay so it's just, it's just it's these um it's the player yeah. so they just happen they're, when they murdered their parents they used their money to go to the game <laughs> it just And they so, got immortalized in a basketball card And it just card. so happened that like in this one picture that they they just put onto the card has the Mendez brothers on it. Holy crap. Show a picture. Show a picture. <laughs> I gotta hunt. You're not the editor anymore. Now Just I gotta hunt that Mendes shit. Brother okay, fine, fine, card. fine. <laughs> she acts like she runs the show now. I bet it. Jess, you don't know how hard it is to edit the show, okay? I do. You, know, now. you gotta show the baseball card, too. Huh? You gotta show the baseball card. I will too. look for that baseball card. You don't have to look up the Pokemon card. I yeah. don't care about that. Um. So, yeah, so they think the kids stole it. So they wanna get back in there so they can keep their house. Uh, Cause he's out of work. Cause he was like a data. Yeah, and Analysis. he just has to get a job Analysis. like that. Like, just do something else, dude. Find it's like, dude, job. find do something it. similar in your field yeah. or find something to hold you over for now. Like, yeah. it, he just didn't want to work. Look, it sucked having to go from working in TV to Office know. Max, but, you know, sometimes you got to swallow your pride and mm -hmm. just deal with it. Um, if I had stayed at Office Max longer, I could have been grandfathered into the trampoline park. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. What? <laughs> yeah, the Office Max. It turns out. I wouldn't have been there long because it got closed, but now it's a trampoline park, so huh. maybe I could have stayed. Way better than an office max. Way better, way better than way an office better. max. Um, I will say, so, in this movie, they do a really good job playing with his overactive imagination because, like, he the reason why he doesn't call the police, which yes, is he, cause, because yeah. he's worried that because his parents accidentally left him home alone. Which side note, he fell asleep in a car, and the uncle didn't look for him, so whatever. Yeah, but, um, that the the setup is a little weak. It's stupid, but like the the he's like <laughs> the mom in his imagination. She's like, "Why did you tell them we left you <laughs> home alone?" And that was pretty. Why? Much, it does make sense. Yeah, there were kid, some. Any normal kid would be afraid of that. Yeah, yeah there were some hallucination stuff in the first two, yeah. so it made sense. This they is do the one, like the little bubbles. Yeah, them talking. this one's trying the most to be like the first two. Oh jeez, it's trying. Uh, this is but it, okay, it's a it's like a for some part somewhat decent imitation. It's just like kind of feel bad for the bad yeah. guys. Yeah, like I don't really want don't, them to get hurt. I hate seeing them get hurt. I guess a misunderstanding in the end. Yeah, but like they're getting beat up. The what the one guy loses a tooth. Yeah. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. I don't want this to happen to them. And apparently, he doesn't even have health care. Yeah, like dental. Yeah, and like the <laughs> kid, screwed. the kid's a little shit. But it was a misunderstanding on his part because they overheard like mm. th these people are coming into his house. So like, really, no one's to blame except. And, and also, uh, <sighs> except Keenan Thompson for selling their house. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and then like the whole setup for why the cops aren't there. So it turns out Buzz is like the town cop Oh, what or whatever. a great cameo. Yeah. yeah. So I know I told my dad about this cameo and I was like, hey dad, they have a cameo from the original Home Alone. He's like, oh, is it like Kevin McAllister or Joe Pesci? I'm like, no, better. Remember Buzz, his older brother? He's like, oh, that sucks. And Buzz's played? girlfriend, woof. Played, played. <laughs> no woof. one knows, I don't think anyone knows who played the girlfriend. It was definitely a boy. I know because of you. Yeah, the, well, I don't know who the actor is, but the director would have felt bad having, like, a fat girl in the picture, so he got, like, a little boy to wear a wig. It was, that one. Huh? It was the director's was son. Was this his son? That's what I thought. That's what I heard. Oh, I didn't you know that. That's so nice of him, though. Yeah. No, I told you it was a boy. I didn't know it was his son. And someone told me it was his son. Ah, okay. It was um, me? No. Look it up. I don't so, know. yeah, they got Buzz to come back, and it is played by Devin Ratray. His cameo The, is... as of this recording, still hasn't gone to trial, so he's just an alleged domestic abuser. That was the that was the unfortunate thing. It's like, wow, that's the only actor you could get back. And like three months later, he gets like arrested for like beating up his girlfriend. I'm like, oh, he's no longer going to that convention I was telling you about. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, they announced today <laughs> that he will not be appearing. It's like, no kidding. I'm not saying if he's guilty or innocent. I would just wait until after the trial yeah. before I start booking. Him. Yeah. <laughs> no, I guilty mean, until proven innocent these days. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, his cameo in this movie is fine. And then you learn about that stuff. You're like, you're the funny thing is, actually, he was in the also in the show The Tick, which was great. 
I didn't, uh, I didn't finish that. Yeah, but that's I a sad thing. It. Like, he was really good in the ticket. I was excited to see him in more things. Then I found out about that. I'm like, well, I hope that's not true. But yeah, he's the only one they get back. Uh, and he mentions and, he's like, Kevin. So gone. you find like, out that Kevin has grown up and gone into home security, which actually makes sense. <laughs> And this is kind of cute. The symbol for the McAllister security is the home alone symbol with the house. I didn't notice that. Yeah. But, like, the whole thing, they're like, hey, there's a kid who's home alone. Can you check it out? He's like, nope, that's my brother. He's doing a prank call again. That is funny. It's like, dude, you should probably still go check. Like, (laughs) the fact that it happened to your brother twice, like, it could probably happen again to someone else. Well, they're like, can you at least go check? And he turns on his car, and he turns it right back off. He's like, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, he and then he end- disappears. Yeah, that's that's the end of his cameo, and it, yeah. it just ends with him slobbing a burrito on his shirt. Yeah, uh, surprised I remember cop. that. I was drinking. <laughs> I remember that. Why? Um, I do like that the the dad the, the the bad guy is like going to dress up like Santa to try to trick the kid, but it doesn't work because he's kind of listening to them. There is one funny gag where they go into the wrong house. Oh yeah, I thought that, that was, was good. funny. Yeah. <laughs> no one notices them. I'm like, I would have no- heard my door open, but like. Yeah, but then there's some like cringy stuff like <sighs> when they wa- try and go over the wall and he farts in their face. That was pretty bad. <laughs> that was awful. You you, you yeah. seemed to like it, but I thought that was pretty bad. But, but no, um, there's the scene funny. where they're watching the remake. <laughs> never get old. Huh? Farts are always funny. Never oh my get god, old. the remake. They're watching the remake of Angels with Filthy <laughs> Souls and now space. it's a sci-fi space one and then the characters like, "Ugh, remakes aren't as good as the original." And I'm like, "Scream 4 beat you to that joke." Like like the thing is, when Scream Four made that joke, Scream Four was actually a good movie, and this one is just mad. I'm like, you don't, you haven't earned this. I joke. feel like this movie isn't meant to be taken seriously. It's more like, hey, it's for the fans. Remember well, this actually, and that. No, I'm glad you mentioned that because, like, the first film had serious. The first two had serious moments. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this one doesn't. This really. one doesn't really have. They're not them. gonna kill him. They just want the freaking stupid dog. Also, how much milk does that family have? Oh, too much. A whole lot of milk. Yeah. And they're like, we gotta go get milk. And it's like, no, you have like way too much you milk. Have oat milk, sunflower milk, or sunflower seed milk. milk well, milk. You, pff, milk is disgusting anyway. At least, at least they have milk in the fridge. So if they get called to be in a video <laughs> review, they'll show up on yeah. time. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> at least there's that. Yeah. Huh. I, that was just a scenario I came up with. That's Man. not directed <laughs> at anyone. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Very I, I I don't know how to feel about this one because I went in thinking it was going to be straight garbage everyone has always said like it was gonna be gar- I, yeah i still uh, compared to the previous the past two ones we just reviewed like mm. four and five i don't mind it i didn't mind it i liked it i'm never gonna watch it again it i do part, like that though. it brings the john williams score back it was that part. is something oh, yeah, that the others good. were missing prison mike just like the fart joke yeah <laughs> Fart jokes always Again, classic. like it, it's annoying when there's a comedy movie with comedic people i like not being funny keenan thompson was Funny, it's okay. But it, was it was funny how like, yeah. he goes into. The, I just like he how he kept referencing the, the dad's like working out and stuff. Oh, because like, they want to hide yeah. that they want to hide to the kids that the house is being sold. I so like instead of he, realtor, he says he's their personal trainer. I like yeah. he goes to the church just to tell him like we got an offer. Yeah, and they're like about your dad's workout regimen. Yeah, uh, this <laughs> this uh, cameo by him wasn't as good because I watched. Uh, he's in this season of Chucky. He's a ta- uh, ca- taxi cab Keenan? driver. Yeah. He is in the beginning of a Chucky episode, and Chucky kills him, shoves an umbrella down his throat, and like oh! opens it, and he's bleeding everywhere. And then the credit is like special guest star Keenan Thompson as he's bleeding out. And so after seeing that cameo and then watching this, I'm like, it's not as funny. I was you spoiled by do. Chucky. You um, can't, you can't yeah, no. So again, I was, I was expecting to hate it. I'm still not into the kid. They've never really recaptured that magic. They don't really. They, they focus more on the on the burglars rather than the kid more yeah the kid is kind of an afterthought yeah, some of the he's times just, and then like he seems like more of the bad guy because he just knocked the guy's tooth out and like caused permanent trauma for yeah. his people they don't know but how then they're so nice to him and they're like you don't have anyone for christmas Come yeah here. after all that all, all that chaos they're they like almost oh die by the chandelier which, by the way, when the mom comes back, like, it'll just be us. And they open the door and it's ruined. <laughs> and it's like one year later, they're all spending Christmas together. Like, yeah, that's another weird thing. It's like, remember when we tried to, like, attack your kid and break into your house? Now we're all best friends. I'm yeah. like, all 
Right, that's a little bizarre. That's a but little. Even even the kid is just like he saves the doll, and then they're like, "Oh, I guess we're even now." It's oh, it turns out the kid never stole the doll. Yeah, that... he stole a, so, an energy drink. Yeah, which he kept in his pocket the entire time. <sighs> what was the um, point of stealing that? This also doesn't know how VR works. They put the he knocks the guy out, then he puts the VR headset <laughs> and he on him. He has the Santa suit in the game, which isn't how that works. But also, he's like, he doesn't feel the headset on that, him. You I said that during what my live stream that I deleted um, <laughs> because it was embarrassing. Now uh, I'm mad I can't. I should have backed that up. I would have loved to use clips from that. Damn it. Where I'm just like, you would have felt that on your head. Yeah. You and also, he doesn't that. have headphones in. He would be hearing the how. It was took me out of it. He's not like, realistic. Where am I? I'm like, this is stupid. That's kind of it. It's whatever. I'm never going to watch it again, but I wasn't miserable watching it. I got it. a few no. laughs out of it, yeah. but like, yeah. it was like here and there. Yeah. It wasn't so, by the kid. The kid did not do anything. So I think it's clear that the people who say that this is the worst definitely didn't watch four or five. And now the time has come <sighs> where we figure out what is the worst Home Alone movie. Jess, what are you picking? Four. It's definitely four. You're going four? Because it's just Butcher with Kevin. All that stuff. If I'm to go in order, it'll be the be from best to worst. Okay. Best is one and two, three, six, five, and four. Okay. What do you think is the worst? I think uh, Home Alone 5, the holiday heist, is the worst. You're going with five? Yeah. It Followed. is difficult to pick between those. It's two. hard. I try not to watch the back of my eyelids during this movie. <laughs> um, It was painful. I just it was the worst. Makes you Follow, wish you were yeah. back in prison. Yes. <laughs> Seriously. Um, followed by number four. That was second worst. Then three. Then six. Then one. You're putting two. six above three. Yes. Are you putting, okay. And you're putting two above one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, that, yeah, that, I, I, yeah. I, I both of them people. are good. Yeah. I'm not, they I'm are, not but they're, they're both classics. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can't take anything away from either one of the first two, but mm -mm. I'm going to go with the second one. I just like a little bit better. Probably because mm. that is the greatest president. <laughs> in America, there. Yes. Definitely one and two are at the top. <laughs> will he be? Will he be the second greatest president? Oh, thousand percent. Because the first greatest president is obviously forty-five, and then right. he'll be forty-seven. He'll, he'll be the second greatest president. <laughs> Hasn't there only been he one? He might do a better job than forty-five. There's only one president who's done that before. Who was that? Grover Cleveland. He was, was like two different. Yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. Two different. It terms. was a guy with a mustache for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um. So anyway, sure I was going over Cleveland before you edit that. He, or, like the other guy. Yeah. or the other Put guy. Put his name. I'll ADR yeah. his name. Um, I think, do you think Home Alone 7 will have a girl in it this time? Because well, we were talking about be the worst Home Alone. Maybe it should be me. <laughs> that, that, yeah. It should be me. <laughs> do you just Home Alone Honestly, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't. Sauce? I wouldn't home mind alone, a girl Home movies. Alone. Just to make, just to switch it up a little bit. I wouldn't mind girl Home Alone. Hack the movies Home Alone. I would love to see Black Kid Home Alone. That'd be fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, and then Why you know what? Those white kids. Maybe oh, no. may, look. You did six of them. Maybe drop the Christmas thing. Pick a different holiday. Halloween alone. Oh, yeah, Hall oh. scary. You can make a scary one. Yeah. And Halloween. Then you could, you, you Halloween could alone is good enough for the name. You can utilize the ghost thing that they were doing in Home Alone Five. Yeah. They would you make can it have better. fun with Halloween alone. Because it would be in a haunted house. <laughs> there we go. Got the movie. Yeah, Disney, perfect. call me up. Um, so, yeah, I've Start really been trying telling. to think about this. Is it four or five? I think I'm going to go with four because it kind of ruined it. The fact that they dug up the characters for one and two and then yeah. made them all shitty. That makes it. Ugh. I don't like that. I really think that really, really hurts it. I hate the high tech house. It's Snow not as fun on. as yeah. It's yeah. not as fun as they think the it is. Yeah, pre Alexa. Yeah, <sighs> the it. the bad guys aren't as fun. like I think the bad guys in five are like okay, they're like annoying. they're better than the ones in this. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got to be four. Four is, but five is like right behind it. Five is like almost yeah. there. Yeah, it's it's a cl it's very close. It's just four for me because it's like you can't. Yeah, so if I name the kid different, if yes. I'm ranking it, I, I can't pick between one and two. I'm just gonna put them even, I guess. Fair yeah. enough. And then it's three, six, five, four. Yeah, I think I can't that's... even disagree with you guys on this because yeah. it is so close on how bad these yeah. four and five were. Yeah. So yeah. thanks, Patreon voters. <laughs> thanks, Patreon voters. Yes. I hope this was worth it. <laughs> I hope it if was worth it. This does not get a million I hope you're views, worth it. Us talking for two hours Tony's about Patreon. Movies. <laughs> Listen here.
I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm just mad and I want to point at the camera. But um, speaking of people donating stuff, okay. there's a lot of controversy now with charity. A lot of charity fraud got brought up this year from you, different YouTubers. We're not going to name them because the one, I guess it's, it, it's still debatable for both, but the ones I'm friends with people directly involved with them who are feuding. Anyway, it's a lot of charity fraud. You don't know who to send your money to. Oh, Jesus. And I think there's one place you could send your money to that Me. you know will be sent to a good cause. Me. That's Patreon. No, that's patreon.com slash hack movies. But that money does help me pay Jess occasionally, so in a way, it does kind of go to you. So I think you should all donate to patreon.com slash hack the movies. I haven't you... edited since October. Yeah, because I just don't have enough patrons, obviously. I think we got to get that number up, right? Yeah, that way we can get better voters. <laughs> yeah, <we> got... <laughs> And you never know if Prison Mike is going to be in the slammer again. We're going to have to bail him out. Yeah. That'll go toward the Prison Mike I'll bail bond. Bail yeah, thank you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so thank you for your service. We can we can afford like flights to get Min Salad out here. Yeah. We can have less Crystal and Johanna episodes. Everyone no. wins, I think. Um, so yes, please donate to Patreon. Donate to Patreon if you want me to be the new host of Pack the Movies. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no. I'll wear a beard. Look, look, look. We, we had Space Cat replace me as host. It didn't and go that great. well. No, it didn't go that well. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone has a very happy holiday. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. You filthy animals. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And a happy new year. Yay. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page.